The New Dr. Price Cookbook By Unknown General Directions Where shortening is mentioned in the recipes it is understood that butter or lard, or an equivalent quantity of butter substitute or vegetable oil may be used. How do you find this book? Any thoughts about the book or the author? Any suggestion for improvement? Please take a moment to share your thoughts in a comment. If you like it, share it with your friends who might enjoy it as well. Subscribe to keep in touch. Visit completeaudiobooks.com for more quality content. Measurements All measurements for all materials called for in the recipes in this book are level. The standard measuring cup holds one half pint and is divided into fourths and thirds. To make level measurements fill cup or spoon and scrape off excess with back of knife. One half spoon is measured lengthwise of spoon. Sift flour before measuring. Baking. Much depends upon the baking. Many a cake otherwise perfectly prepared is spoiled because the oven is too hot or not hot enough. Regulate the oven carefully before mixing the ingredients. When a cake is thoroughly baked it shrinks from the sides of the pan. A light touch with the finger which leaves no mark is another indication that the cake is baked. Table of equivalent weights and measures 1 salt spoon equals 1 quarter teaspoon 3 teaspoons equals 1 tablespoon 16 tablespoons equals 1 cup 2 cups equals 1 pint 2 pints equals 1 quart 4 cups equals 1 quart 2 cups granulated sugar equals 1 4 pound cups flour equals 1 2 pound cups butter equals 1 pound. 2 tablespoons butter equals 1 ounce 2 tablespoons liquid equals 1 ounce 4 tablespoons flour equals 1 ounce 1 square unsweetened chocolate equals 1 ounce 3 1 half tablespoons cocoa equals 1 ounce. Breads, biscuits and rolls. Dr. Price's baking powder may be used instead of yeast to leaven bread. It does precisely the same work, that is, raises the dough, making it porous and spongy. The great advantage of bread made by this method is in time saved, as it can be mixed and baked in less than two hours. Milk bread needs little or no shortening, and less flour is required than when water is used. Sift flour before measuring, and use level measurements for all materials. Baking powder bread 4 cups flour 1 teaspoon salt 1 tablespoon sugar 7 teaspoons drive Price's baking powder. 1 medium-sized, cold, boiled potato. Milk, water may be used. Sift thoroughly together flour, salt, sugar and baking powder, rub in potato, add sufficient liquid to mix rapidly and smoothly into soft dough. This will require about 1 pint of liquid. Turn it once into greased loaf pan, smooth top with knife dipped in melted butter, and allow to stand in warm place about 30 minutes. Bake in moderate oven about 1 hour. When done take from pan, moisten top slightly with cold water and allow to cool before putting away. Boston Brown Bread 1 cup entire wheat or graham flour 1 cup corn meal 1 cup rye meal or ground rolled oats 1 teaspoon salt 5 Teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 3 quarters cup molasses. 1 and 1 third cups milk. Mix thoroughly dry ingredients. Add molasses to milk, and add, beat thoroughly and put into greased molds 2 thirds full. Steam 3 and a half hours, remove covers and bake until top is dry. Corn bread. 1 cup corn meal. 1 cup flour. 4. Teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 3 tablespoons sugar. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 and a half cups milk. 1 egg. 2 tablespoons shortening. Mix and sift dry ingredients, add milk, beaten egg, and melted shortening, beat well and pour into greased shallow pan. Bake in hot oven about 25 minutes. Spider corn bread. 1 egg. 1 and 3 quarters cups milk. 2 tablespoons sugar. 1 cup corn meal. 1 third cup flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 
1 tablespoon shortening. Beat egg and add 1 cup milk. Stir in sugar, cornmeal, flour, salt and baking powder which have been sifted together, turn into frying pan in which shortening has been melted, pour on remainder of milk, but do not stir. Bake about 25 minutes in hot oven. There should be a line of creamy custard through the bread. Cut into triangles and serve. Graham bread. One and a half cups flour. One and a half cups graham flour. Four teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. One teaspoon salt. One tablespoon shortening. One egg. One and a half cups liquid, one half water and one half milk. Two tablespoons sugar or molasses. Mix flour, graham flour, baking powder and salt together, rub in shortening. Beat egg and add with sugar or molasses to liquid, stir into dry mixture and beat well, add more milk if necessary to make a drop batter. Put into greased loaf pan, smooth with knife dipped in cold water. Bake about one hour in moderate oven. Nut or raisin bread. Two and a half cups flour. Half a cup graham flour. A quarter cup sugar. One teaspoon salt. One cup walnuts or raisins. Four teaspoons drive prices baking powder. One egg. One and a half cups milk. Sift dry ingredients together. Add raisins or nuts chopped not too fine, add beaten egg to milk and add to dry ingredients to make a soft dough. Put into greased loaf pan. Allow to stand about 30 minutes. Bake in moderate oven from 45 to 60 minutes. Peanut butter bread. 2 cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 teaspoon salt. Half a cup sugar. 1 cup milk. 2 thirds cup peanut butter or half a cup finely ground peanuts. Sift flour, baking powder, salt and sugar together. Add milk to peanut butter or peanuts, blend well and add to dry ingredients, mix thoroughly. Bake in greased loaf pan in slow oven 45 to 50 minutes. This is best when a day old. It makes delicious sandwiches cut in thin slices and filled with either cream cheese or lettuce and mayonnaise. Prune or date bread. 1 cup prunes or dates. 2 and a half a cups graham flour. Or 1 cup flour and 1 and a half cups graham flour. A quarter cup sugar. 1 teaspoon salt. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 cup milk. 1 tablespoon shortening. Wash prunes, soak several hours, drain, stone and chop, or use dates stoned and chopped. Mix flour, sugar, salt and baking powder, add milk to make soft dough and beat well, add fruit and melted shortening. Put into greased bread pan, allow to stand about 30 minutes in warm place. Bake in moderate oven 1 hour. Luncheon or sandwich rolls. 4 cups flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 6 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 tablespoon shortening. 1 and a half cups milk. Sift together flour, salt and baking powder, rub in shortening. Add milk and mix with spoon to smooth dough easy to handle on floured board. Turn out dough, knead quickly a few times to impart smoothness, divide into small pieces, Form each by hand into short, rather thick tapering rolls. Place on greased pans and allow to stand in warm place 15 to 20 minutes, brush with milk. Bake in very hot oven. When almost baked brush again with melted butter. Bake 10 minutes longer and serve hot. If a glazed finish is desired, before taking from oven brush over with yolk of egg which has been mixed, with a little cold water. These rolls make excellent sandwiches, using for fillings either lettuce and mayonnaise, sliced or chopped ham, chopped seasoned cucumbers, egg and mayonnaise with a very little chopped onion and parsley, or other filling desired. Rye rolls. 4 cups rye flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 6 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 and a half cups milk. 
1 tablespoon shortening. Sift together dry ingredients, add milk and melted shortening. Knead on floured board, shape into rolls. Put into greased pans and allow to stand in warm place 20 minutes. Bake in moderate oven 25 to 30 minutes. Potato rolls. 4 cups flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon sugar. 7 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 2 medium sized cold boiled potatoes. Water or milk or equal quantities of each. Sift thoroughly together flour, salt, sugar, and baking powder, rub in potatoes or add after putting through ricer. Add sufficient liquid to mix smoothly into a stiff batter or soft dough. This will require about 1 and 1 half cups. Divide into small pieces, knead each and shape into small rolls. Place on greased pan and brush with melted shortening and allow to stand in warm place 15 to 20 minutes. Bake in hot oven and when nearly done, brush again with melted shortening. Nut and raisin rolls. 2 and a half cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon sugar. 5 tablespoons shortening. 1 egg. 2 thirds cup milk. Butter. Raisins. Chopped nuts. Half a cup sugar. Sift flour, baking powder, salt and sugar together. Add melted shortening and beaten egg to milk and add to dry ingredients, mixing well. Turn out on floured board and knead lightly. Roll out very thin. Spread with butter and sprinkle with raisins, chopped nuts and small amount of granulated sugar. Cut into about 4 inch squares. Roll up each as for jelly roll. Press edges together. Brush over with yolk of egg mixed with a little cold water and sprinkle with nuts and sugar, and allow to stand in greased pan about 15 minutes. Bake in moderate oven from 20 to 25 minutes. Parker House Rolls 4 cups flour 1 teaspoon salt 6 teaspoons drive prices baking powder 2 to 4 tablespoons shortening 1 and a half cups milk Sift flour, salt and baking powder together Add melted shortening to milk and add slowly to dry ingredients stirring until smooth Knead lightly on floured board and roll out one half inch thick Cut with biscuit cutter Crease each circle with back of knife one side of center Butter the small section and fold larger part well over the small Place 1 inch apart in greased pan. Allow to stand 15 minutes in warm place. Brush each with melted butter and bake in moderate oven 15 to 20 minutes. Rusks 2 and a quarter cups flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons maple or brown sugar. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon nutmeg. 3 quarters teaspoon cinnamon. 2 tablespoons shortening. 1 third to 2 thirds cup water. 1 egg. Sift together flour, salt, sugar, baking powder, and spice. Add melted shortening to beaten egg and water to make soft dough and mix well. Turn out on floured board, with floured hands shape into small rolls, place on greased shallow pan close together. Allow to stand 10 to 15 minutes before baking. Brush with milk and sprinkle with a little maple or brown sugar. Bake in moderate oven 20 to 30 minutes. For hot cross buns, with sharp knife make deep cross cuts, brush with butter, sprinkle with sugar and bake. Cinnamon buns. 2 and a quarter cups flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 2 tablespoons shortening. 1 egg. Half a cup water. Half a cup sugar. 2 teaspoons cinnamon. 4 tablespoons seeded raisins. Sift 2 tablespoons of measured sugar with flour, salt and baking powder, rub shortening in lightly. Add beaten egg to water and add slowly. 
Roll out one third inch thick on floured board, brush with melted butter, sprinkle with sugar, cinnamon and raisins. Roll as for jelly roll, cut into one and a half inch pieces, place with cut edges up on well greased pan. Sprinkle with sugar and cinnamon. Bake in moderate oven 30 to 45 minutes, remove from pan at once. Brown sugar buns. 2 cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon shortening. Half a cup milk. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 cup brown sugar. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, add shortening and rub in very lightly, add milk slowly to make a soft dough. Roll out a quarter inch thick. Have butter soft and spread over dough, cover with brown sugar. Roll same as jelly roll, cut into two inch pieces, and place with cut edges up on well greased pan. Bake in moderate oven about 30 minutes, remove from pan at once. Coffee cake. 2 cups flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 3 tablespoons sugar. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 2 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup milk. Mix and sift dry ingredients, add melted shortening and enough milk to make stiff batter. Spread half an inch thick in greased pan, add top mixture. Bake about 30 minutes in moderate oven. Top mixture. 2 tablespoons flour. 1 tablespoon cinnamon. 3 tablespoons sugar. 3 tablespoons shortening. Mix dry ingredients. Rub in shortening and spread thickly over top of dough before baking. Individual coffee cakes. 2 cups flour. 3 quarters teaspoon salt. 4 tablespoons sugar. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 egg. Half a cup milk. Sift dry ingredients together, rub in shortening lightly with fingertips, add beaten egg to milk and add to dry ingredients to make soft dough. Divide the dough into 6 long narrow pieces, with hands roll out on board each piece very long and thin, spread with butter. Cut each in two and beginning in center twist two pieces together and bring ends around to form crescent. Put into greased pan, sprinkle with chopped nuts. Bake in hot oven 15 to 20 minutes. While hot, brush over with thin icing made with half a cup confectioner's sugar moistened with one tablespoon hot water. Coffee ring. Three cups flour. Five tablespoons sugar. Four teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 teaspoon salt. 3 quarters cup milk. 1 cup raisins, washed, drained and floured. 3 tablespoons shortening. 1 egg. Half a cup chopped nuts. Sift dry ingredients together, add raisins, to milk add melted shortening and beaten egg. Mix thoroughly and add to the dry ingredients, add more milk if necessary, to make a soft dough. Roll out lightly about half an inch thick, divide into two long strips and twist together to form a ring. Put into greased pan and sprinkle with a little sugar and nuts, allow to stand about 20 minutes. Bake in moderate oven 20 to 25 minutes. Biscuits 2 cups flour 4 teaspoons drive Price's baking powder 1 half teaspoon salt 2 tablespoons shortening 3 quarters cup milk or half milk and half water. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, add shortening and rub in very lightly, add liquid slowly to make soft dough. Roll or pat out on floured board to about one half inch in thickness handling as little as possible, cut with biscuit cutter. Bake in hot oven 15 to 20 minutes. Emergency or drop biscuits. Same as recipe for biscuits with the addition of more milk to make stiff batter. Drop by spoonfuls on greased pan and bake in hot oven 15 to 20 minutes. Whole wheat raisin biscuits. 2 cups whole wheat flour. 3 quarters teaspoon salt. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 
2 teaspoons shortening. 1 cup milk. 4 tablespoons cut raisins. Mix well flour, salt and baking powder, or sift through coarse strainer, add shortening and rub in very lightly, add milk, mix to soft dough, add raisins. Drop with tablespoon quite far apart on greased baking tin or in greased muffin tins. Bake in moderate oven about 25 minutes. Bran biscuits. Half a cup bran. One and a half cups flour. Five teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. Three quarters teaspoon salt. Three tablespoons sugar. Half a cup water. Two tablespoons shortening. Mix thoroughly bran, flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, add sufficient water to make soft dough, add melted shortening. Roll out lightly to about a quarter inch thick on floured board, cut with biscuit cutter. Bake in hot oven 12 to 15 minutes. Cheese biscuits. One and a half cups flour. Two teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. One quarter teaspoon salt. One teaspoon shortening. Six tablespoons grated cheese. Five eighths cup milk. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, add shortening and cheese, rub in very lightly. Add milk slowly, just enough to hold dough together. Turn out on floured board and roll about half an inch thick, cut with small biscuit cutter. Bake in hot oven 12 to 15 minutes. Egg biscuits. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon sugar. 1 egg. 2 tablespoons shortening. 1 third cup water. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt and sugar. Add well beaten egg and melted shortening to water and add to dry ingredients to make soft dough. Roll out on floured board to about half an inch thick, cut with biscuit cutter. Bake in moderate oven about 25 minutes. Muffins, gems, etc. Muffins. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 tablespoon sugar. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 cup milk. 2 eggs. 1 tablespoon shortening. Sift together flour, baking powder, sugar and salt. Add milk, well beaten eggs and melted shortening, mix well. Half fill greased muffin tins with batter and bake in hot oven 20 to 25 minutes. English muffins. 2 cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 3 quarters teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon sugar. 1 and a quarter cups milk. Sift together dry ingredients. Mix in gradually milk to make soft dough. Half fill greased muffin rings placed on hot greased griddle or shaped lightly with floured hands into flat round cakes, bake on griddle or frying pan turning until brown and cooked through, about 15 minutes. Split and serve hot with butter. Blueberry muffins. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon sugar. 3 quarters cup milk. 2 eggs. 1 tablespoon shortening. 1 cup berries. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt and sugar. Add milk slowly, well beaten eggs and melted shortening, mix well and add berries, which have been carefully picked over and floured. Grease muffin tins, drop one spoonful into each. Bake about 30 minutes in moderate oven. Cereal muffins. Half a cup cooked hominy, oatmeal or other cereal. One half teaspoon salt. One and a half tablespoons shortening. One egg. Half a cup milk. One cup flour. Half a cup cornmeal. Four teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. Mix together cereal, salt, melted shortening, beaten egg and milk. Add flour and cornmeal which have been sifted with baking powder, beat well. 
Bake in greased muffin tins or shallow pan in hot oven 25 to 30 minutes. Cornmeal muffins. 3 quarters cup cornmeal. 1 and a quarter cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons sugar. 1 cup milk. 2 tablespoons shortening. 1 egg. Sift together cornmeal, flour, baking powder, salt and sugar. Add milk, melted shortening and well-beaten egg, mix well. Half fill greased muffin tins with batter and bake about 35 minutes in hot oven. Crumb muffins. 2 cups stale bread crumbs. 1 and a quarter cups milk. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 eggs. 1 tablespoon shortening. Soak bread crumbs in cold milk 10 minutes, add flour, baking powder and salt which have been sifted together, add well beaten eggs and melted shortening, mix well. Half fill greased muffin tins with batter and bake 20 to 25 minutes in hot oven. Rice muffins. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon sugar. 2 thirds cup milk. 1 egg. 1 tablespoon shortening. 1 cup cold boiled rice. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt and sugar, add milk slowly, then well beaten egg and melted shortening. Add rice and mix well. Half fill greased muffin tins with batter and bake 20 to 30 minutes in hot oven. Date muffins. 1 third cup butter. 1 egg. 2 cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 3 quarters cup milk. Half a pound. Dates. Cream butter, add beaten egg, flour in which baking powder and salt have been sifted, and milk. Stir in dates which have been pitted and cut into small pieces. Bake about 25 minutes in greased gem pans in hot oven. For sweet muffins sift a quarter cup sugar with dry ingredients. Popovers. 2 cups flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 eggs. 2 cups milk. Sift together flour and salt. Make a well in flour, break eggs into well, add milk and stir from center until all flour is mixed in and until smooth. Pour into hot greased gem pans and bake 25 to 35 minutes in very hot oven. If taken out of oven too soon they will fall. Graham Gems 1 cup flour 1 cup graham flour 3 quarters teaspoon salt 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder 1 cup milk 1 egg 2 tablespoons molasses or sugar 3 tablespoons shortening Mix together dry ingredients Add milk, beaten egg, molasses and melted shortening Stir until smooth Bake in greased gem pans in hot oven about 25 minutes. Green corn gems. 2 cups green corn put through food chopper. A quarter cup milk or half a cup if corn is dry. 2 eggs. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. To the corn add milk and well beaten eggs. Add flour, baking powder, salt and pepper which have been sifted together, mix well. Drop into hot greased gem pans. Bake in hot oven 20 to 25 minutes. Scones. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons sugar. 2 tablespoons shortening. 2 eggs. 1 third to half a cup milk. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt and sugar, add shortening and rub in very lightly. Beat eggs until light. Add milk to eggs and add slowly to mixture to make soft dough. 
Roll out half an inch thick on floured board, cut into pieces three inches square and fold over, making them three-cornered, brush with milk, sprinkle with sugar. Bake about 25 minutes in hot oven. Current tea cakes. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. Half a cup sugar. 3 quarters teaspoon salt. 1 cup milk. 1 egg. 2 tablespoons shortening. Half a cup currants. Sift together flour, baking powder, sugar and salt, add milk, well-beaten egg and melted shortening. Add currants which have been washed, dried and floured and mix well. The batter should be stiff. Half fill greased hot muffin tins and bake about 20 minutes in hot oven. Fig envelopes. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons sugar. 2 teaspoons shortening. 2 thirds cup milk. 1 cup chopped figs. 1 egg. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt and sugar, add shortening and rub in very lightly. Add slowly enough milk to form stiff dough. Roll out a quarter inch thick on floured board, handling as little as possible, cut into squares and on each piece put one tablespoon of fig, brush edges of dough with cold milk. Fold like envelope and press edges together, brush tops with egg beaten with one tablespoon milk and one teaspoon sugar. Bake about 20 minutes in hot oven. Sally Lunn. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon sugar. 3 quarters cup milk. 2 eggs. 2 tablespoons shortening. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt and sugar, add milk, well-beaten eggs and melted shortening. Mix well. Bake in greased shallow pan in moderate oven about 25 minutes. Griddle cakes and waffles. Eggs add to the richness of griddle cakes, but are not essential. The batter must be thin and the cake not too large when baked. An iron frying pan may be used instead of griddle. In any case grease only enough to keep the cakes from sticking and have very hot before baking. Cakes should be turned only once. Griddle cakes. 2 cups flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 4 teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. 2 cups milk. 2 tablespoons shortening. Mix and sift dry ingredients, add milk and melted shortening, beat well. Bake on slightly greased hot griddle, turning only once. Serve immediately with butter and syrup. Griddle cakes with eggs. 1 and 3 quarters cups flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 2 eggs. 1 and a half cups milk. 1 tablespoon shortening. Mix and sift dry ingredients, add beaten eggs, milk and melted shortening, mix well. Bake on hot slightly greased griddle and serve immediately with butter and syrup. Buckwheat cakes. 1 cup flour. 2 cups buckwheat flour. 6 teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. 1 and a half teaspoon salt. 2 and a half cups milk or milk and water. 1 tablespoon molasses. 1 tablespoon shortening. Sift together flours, baking powder and salt, add liquid, molasses, and melted shortening. Beat 3 minutes. Bake on hot greased griddle and serve immediately with butter and syrup. Cornmeal griddle cakes. 1 and 1 third cups cornmeal. 1 and a half cups boiling water. 3 quarters cup milk. 1 tablespoon shortening. 1 tablespoon molasses. 2 thirds cup flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Scald cornmeal with boiling water. Add milk, melted shortening and molasses, add flour, salt and baking powder which have been sifted together. 
Mix well and bake on hot greased griddle until brown and serve immediately with butter and syrup. Rice griddle cakes. 1 cup boiled rice. 1 cup milk. 1 tablespoon shortening. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 egg. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Mix rice, milk, melted shortening, salt and well-beaten egg. Stir in flour and baking powder which have been sifted together, mix well. Bake on hot greased griddle and serve immediately with butter and syrup. French pancakes. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 eggs. 1 tablespoon sugar. 2 cups milk. A quarter cup cream. Jam. Powdered sugar. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt. Beat eggs with sugar and add milk and cream. Mix slowly with dry ingredients to prevent lumping. Batter should be very thin. Heat small frying pan which has been slightly greased. Pour in just sufficient batter to cover bottom of pan. Cook over hot fire. Turn and brown other side. Spread with jam or preserves and roll up. Sprinkle with powdered sugar, and serve hot. Makes 12 large pancakes. Whole wheat hot cakes. 2 cups whole wheat flour. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 and 3 quarters cups milk. 2 eggs. 1 tablespoon shortening. 1 teaspoon molasses. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, add milk, beaten eggs, melted shortening and molasses and mix well. Bake on hot greased griddle and serve immediately with butter and syrup. Waffles. 2 cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 3 quarters teaspoon salt. 1 and 3 quarters cups milk. 2 eggs. 1 tablespoon melted shortening. Sift flour, baking powder and salt together, add milk to yolks of eggs, mix thoroughly and add to dry ingredients. Add melted shortening and fold in beaten whites of eggs. Bake in well greased hot waffle iron until brown. Serve immediately with butter and syrup. Fritters, donuts, and crawlers. Fritters are served as an entree, a vegetable or a sweet, according to the ingredients used. The foundation batter is much the same for all fritters, and, with some additions the first recipe given can be used for many varieties. Fritters and donuts should be fried in kettle of deep fat, hot enough to brown a piece of bread in 60 seconds. Drain on unglazed paper. Sprinkle fruit fritters, donuts and crullers with powdered sugar. Plain fritter batter. 1 cup flour. 1 and a half teaspoons Dr. Price's baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 egg. 2 thirds cup milk. Sift dry ingredients together, add beaten egg and milk, beat until smooth. Apple fritters. 4 large apples. 2 tablespoons powdered sugar. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. Peel and core apples and cut into slices, add sugar and lemon juice. Dip each slice in plain fritter batter. Fry to light brown in deep fat. Drain and sprinkle with powdered sugar. Banana fritters. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 tablespoon powdered sugar. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 egg. A quarter cup milk. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 3 bananas. Mix and sift dry ingredients. Add others in order. Force bananas through a sieve before adding. Beat thoroughly. Drop by spoonfuls into hot fat. Drain and sprinkle with powdered sugar and few drops of lemon juice. Bread crumb fritters. 1 cup flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 cup fine bread crumbs. 
1 and a half cups milk. 1 egg. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 tablespoon molasses. Sift together flour, salt and baking powder. Add bread crumbs, then the milk slowly, add well beaten egg, butter, and molasses. Fry in deep hot fat. Serve hot with powdered sugar and lemon juice or hard sauce. Corn fritters. Half a cup milk. Two cups cooked corn. One and a half cups flour. One teaspoon salt. One third teaspoon pepper. Two. Teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 tablespoon shortening. 2 eggs. Add milk to corn, add flour sifted with salt, pepper and baking powder. Add melted shortening and beaten eggs, beat well. Fry by spoonfuls on hot greased griddle or iron frying pan. For corn fritters that are to be fried in deep fat make batter stiffer by adding half a cup flour and 1 teaspoon baking powder. Clam fritters. 1 and a half cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 eighth teaspoon paprika. Half a cup milk or clam juice. 2 eggs. 1 and a half teaspoons grated onion. 1 teaspoon shortening. 10 clams. Sift together flour, baking powder, salt, pepper and paprika. Add liquid, well-beaten eggs, onion, and melted shortening, rinse clams, put through meat chopper and add to batter. Fry on hot greased griddle, taking one spoonful batter for each fritter, or fry in deep hot fat. Fruit fritters. Use fresh fruit coarsely chopped or canned whole fruits drained from syrup. Stir into plain fritter batter and drop by spoonfuls into deep hot fat, turning gently until brown. Sprinkle with powdered sugar and serve hot. Donuts 3 tablespoons shortening 2 thirds cup sugar 1 egg 2 thirds cup milk 1 teaspoon nutmeg 3 quarters teaspoon salt 3 cups flour 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder Cream shortening, add sugar and well-beaten egg, stir in milk. Add nutmeg, salt, flour and baking powder which have been sifted together and enough additional flour to make dough stiff enough to roll. Roll out on floured board to about a quarter inch thick, cut out. Fry in deep fat hot enough to brown a piece of bread in 60 seconds. Drain on unglazed paper and sprinkle with powdered sugar. Rich Donuts 2 eggs 6 tablespoons sugar 3 quarters teaspoon salt 1 quarter teaspoon grated nutmeg 2 tablespoons melted shortening 6 tablespoons milk 2 cups flour 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder Beat eggs until very light Add sugar, salt, nutmeg and shortening, add milk and flour and baking powder which have been sifted together, mix well. Drop by teaspoonfuls into deep hot fat and fry until brown. Drain well on unglazed paper and sprinkle with powdered sugar. Crawlers 4 tablespoons shortening 1 cup sugar 2 eggs 3 cups flour 1 teaspoon cinnamon 1 half teaspoon salt 3 Teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 5 eighths cup milk. Cream shortening, add sugar gradually and beaten eggs. Sift together flour, cinnamon, salt and baking powder, add one half and mix well, add milk and remainder of dry ingredients to make soft dough. Roll out on floured board to about a quarter inch thick and cut into strips about four inches long and half an inch wide. Roll in hands and twist each strip and bring ends together. Fry in deep hot fat drain and roll in powdered sugar. Cake The baking of cake is of primary importance. Regulate the oven before putting materials together. When a cake is baked it shrinks from the sides of the pan. A light touch with the finger which leaves no mark is another indication that the cake is baked. 
small and layer cakes require a hotter oven than loaf cakes. Where fewer eggs than called for are used, increase the amount of DR. Prices baking powder about 1 teaspoon for each egg omitted. If an unsalted shortening is used take slightly less and add a small quantity of salt. Sift flour before measuring and use level measurements for all materials. Plain cake. A quarter cup shortening. One cup sugar. One egg. One teaspoon vanilla extract or other flavoring. Two cups flour. Three teaspoons drive prices baking powder. One half teaspoon salt. One cup milk. Cream shortening, add sugar slowly. Add well beaten egg and flavoring, sift together flour, baking powder and salt and add to mixture, a little at a time, alternately with milk. Bake in greased loaf, layer or patty pans in moderate oven. May also be used for cottage pudding served hot with hard or soft sauce. If baked in layers a middle layer of chocolate can be made by adding one ounce melted unsweetened chocolate to one third of the batter. Spanish cake. Half a cup shortening. One cup sugar. Two eggs. One and three quarters cups flour. Three teaspoons drive prices baking powder. One teaspoon cinnamon. Half a cup milk. Cream shortening. Add sugar and yolks of eggs. Beat well. Sift together flour, baking powder and cinnamon and add alternately with milk, fold in beaten whites of eggs. Bake in greased pan in moderate oven 35 to 40 minutes. Cover with boiled icing. Bride's cake. 1 cup shortening. 2 cups sugar. 1 teaspoon almond or vanilla extract. 3 quarters cup milk. 3 and a half cups flour. 3. Teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Whites of 6 eggs. Beat shortening to a cream, adding sugar gradually. Add flavoring and beat until smooth. Add alternately a little at a time milk and flour which has been sifted 3 times with baking powder. Beat whites of eggs until dry, and add to batter, folding in very lightly without beating. Bake in large greased loaf pan in moderate oven about 1 hour. Eggless, milkless, butterless cake. One cup brown sugar. One and a quarter cups water. One cup seeded raisins. Two ounces citron, cut fine. One third cup shortening. One teaspoon nutmeg. One teaspoon cinnamon. One half teaspoon salt. Two cups flour. Five teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. Boil sugar, water, fruit, shortening, spices and salt together in saucepan 3 minutes, when cool, add flour and baking powder which have been sifted together, mix well. Bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven about 45 minutes. Chocolate cake. 3 squares grated unsweetened chocolate. 2 tablespoons sugar. 1 and a half tablespoons milk. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup sugar. 2 eggs. 2 thirds cup milk. 1 and 1 third cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. Cook slowly together until smooth, chocolate, 2 tablespoons sugar and 1 and a half tablespoons milk. Cream butter, add sugar and beat well. Add yolks of eggs and beat again. Stir in chocolate mixture. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt and add alternately, a little at a time with the milk to the first mixture. Fold in beaten whites of eggs. Bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven 50 to 60 minutes. Cover with white or chocolate icing page 17. Sunshine cake. 3 tablespoons shortening. 3 quarters cup sugar. Yolks of 3 eggs. 1 teaspoon flavoring extract. Half a cup milk. 1 and a half cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Cream shortening. Add sugar gradually, and yolks of eggs which have been beaten until thick, add flavoring, 
sift together flour and baking powder and add alternately, a little at a time, with the milk to first mixture. Bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven 35 to 45 minutes. Cover with white icing page 17. Note, this is an excellent cake to make in combination with the following 3 egg angel cake. Only 3 eggs are required for both. 3 gg angel cake. 1 cup sugar. 1 and 1 third cups flour. 1 half teaspoon cream of tartar. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 third teaspoon salt. 2 thirds cup scalded milk. 1 teaspoon almond or vanilla extract. Whites of 3 eggs. Method I. Mix and sift first 5 ingredients 4 times. Add milk, cooled slightly, very slowly, beating continually. Add flavoring, mix well and fold in beaten whites of eggs. Turn into ungreased angel cake tin and bake in very slow oven about 45 minutes. Remove from oven, invert pan and allow to stand until cold. Cover top and sides with either white or chocolate icing page 17. Method 2. Boil sugar with cold milk until thick and pour very slowly over whites of eggs which have been beaten light with a wire whip. Fold in flour, cream of tartar, salt and baking powder which have been sifted together four times. With whip beat mixture with long strokes until very light, add flavoring. Put into ungreased angel cake tin in cold oven, turn on heat and bake at very low temperature for 25 minutes. Raise temperature slightly and bake 30 minutes longer or until thoroughly baked. Remove from oven, invert pan and allow to stand until cold. Cover with white or chocolate icing page 17. Angel cake. Whites of 8 eggs. 1 teaspoon cream of tartar. 3 quarters cup granulated sugar. 3 quarters cup flour. 1 teaspoon drive. Price's baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Whip whites of eggs to firm, stiff froth, add cream of tartar, fold sugar in lightly, fold in flour which has been sifted four times with baking powder and salt, add vanilla. Pour into ungreased pan and bake 45 to 50 minutes in moderate oven. Remove from oven, invert pan and allow to stand until cold. Ice with either chocolate or white icing page 17. Pound cake. 1 cup butter. 1 cup sugar. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 teaspoon lemon extract. 5 eggs. 2 cups flour. 1 teaspoon drive prices baking powder. Reserve 2 egg whites for icing. Cream butter, add sugar slowly, beating well. Add flavoring and yolks of eggs which have been beaten until pale yellow. Beat 3 egg whites until light and add alternately a little at a time with the flour which has been sifted with the baking powder. Mix well and bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven about 1 hour. Cover with ornamental frosting page 16 made with the 2 remaining egg whites. Wedding cake. 2 cups shortening. 2 cups sugar. 6 eggs. 4 cups seeded raisins. 4 cups currants. 1 cup shelled almonds. 2 tablespoons chopped orange peel. 2 tablespoons chopped lemon peel. 2 cups sliced citron. 1 cup grape juice. 4 cups flour. 2 teaspoons cinnamon. 4 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon grated nutmeg. 1 half teaspoon ground mace. 1 quarter teaspoon allspice. 1 quarter teaspoon cloves. 1 half teaspoon salt. Cream shortening and sugar together, add beaten yolks of eggs. Add raisins and currants which have been washed and dried and over which a half cup of flour has been sifted, blanch almonds and put through food chopper with lemon and orange peel and add, Slice citron very fine and add. Stir in grape juice and half of stiffly beaten whites of eggs, sift together flour, baking powder, spices and salt and add, 
mix well and fold in remainder of beaten whites. Pour into two 12-inch loaf pans which have been greased and lined with four layers of brown paper and bake in moderate oven one hour. Then cover with double layer of brown paper, put asbestos plates underneath and continue baking about two hours longer. Coffee Fruit Cake Half a cup shortening 1 cup light brown sugar 2 eggs a quarter cup strong coffee 1 third cup rich milk or cream 1 and 3 quarters cups flour 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder half a pound raisins cut into small pieces 1 eighth pound sliced citron a quarter pound figs cut in strips cream shortening add sugar Add yolks of eggs, coffee and milk, sift together flour and baking powder and add slowly, add fruit, which has been slightly floured, and fold in beaten whites of eggs. Bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven from 1 to 1 and 1 half hours. Date loaf cake. 1 cup boiling water. 1 pound, stoned and cut dates. 3 quarters cup brown sugar. 2 tablespoons shortening. 1 ounce melted chocolate. 1 egg. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 and 3 quarters coos flour. 3 quarters cup chopped pecan nuts. Pour boiling water over dates. Cream sugar and shortening, add melted chocolate and well beaten egg, mix well and add dates and water. Sift together baking powder salt and flour, add gradually with pecan nuts. Mix well and put into greased loaf pan and bake in slow oven for one and a half hours. Cream loaf cake. Half a cup shortening. One cup sugar. Two eggs. One teaspoon lemon extract. Half a cup rich milk or thin cream. One cup flour. Half a cup cornstarch. Three teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Cream shortening well, add sugar slowly. Add beaten yolks of eggs, add flavoring, add milk a very little at a time, sift flour, cornstarch and baking powder together and add, fold in beaten whites of eggs. Bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven 35 to 45 minutes, and cover with frosting page 16. Molasses cake. Half a cup shortening. 2 thirds cup brown sugar. 1 egg. Half a cup molasses. 2 cups flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon allspice. 1 half teaspoon cinnamon. 2 thirds cup milk. Cream shortening. Add sugar slowly, beating continually, add beaten egg. Beat well and add molasses. Add half of flour, baking powder, salt and spices which have been sifted together, add milk and remainder of dry ingredients. Mix well. Bake in greased shallow pan in moderate oven about 40 minutes. Serve hot with butter. Coconut cake. 2 cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Half a cup shortening. 1 and a quarter cups sugar. Half a cup milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 3 eggs. Half a cup fresh grated coconut. Sift flour and baking powder 3 times. Beat shortening and sugar to a cream, add milk and vanilla, then flour and baking powder, a little at a time, beat until smooth, add eggs one at a time, stirring and beating batter well after each egg is put in. Bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven 1 hour. Cover with boiled icing page 16 and sprinkle with chopped coconut. Marble cake. White part. 3 tablespoons shortening. Half a cup sugar. 1 half teaspoon lemon extract. Half a cup milk. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. White of one egg. Cream shortening, add sugar slowly. Add flavoring and milk. 
Beat well and add flour which has been sifted with baking powder and salt. Mix in beaten white of egg. Dark part. 3 tablespoons shortening. Half a cup sugar. Yolk of one egg. Half a cup milk. One cup flour. Two teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. One quarter teaspoon salt. One half teaspoon cloves. One half teaspoon allspice. One teaspoon cinnamon. Six teaspoons cocoa. Cream shortening. Add sugar slowly. Add egg yolk and mix well. Mix in milk. Add flour, baking powder, salt, spices and cocoa which have been sifted together. Put this batter by spoonfuls and the same amount of white batter alternately into greased loaf pan but do not mix. Bake in moderate oven about 45 minutes. Cover with white icing page 17. Marble cake 2. Make plain cake page 10, saving out one third of batter and adding to it one and a half ounces melted unsweetened chocolate. This chocolate batter is then dropped by spoonfuls into the white batter after it is put into the pan. Feather coconut cake. One and a half cups flour. Seven eighths cup sugar. Two teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. Two tablespoons shortening. One egg. Half a cup milk. One teaspoon lemon extract. Half a cup fresh grated coconut. Sift flour, sugar and baking powder into bowl. Add melted shortening and beaten egg to milk and add to dry ingredients. Mix well, add flavoring and coconut and bake in greased loaf pan in moderate oven 35 to 45 minutes. Before serving, sprinkle with a little powdered sugar, or if desired, ice with white icing with grated coconut sprinkled on top. Maple nut cake. One third cup shortening. One cup light brown sugar. Two eggs. Half a cup milk. One and a half cups flour. One quarter teaspoon salt. Two teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. One cup chopped nuts, preferably pecans. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Cream shortening, add sugar slowly in yolks of eggs and milk and beat well, add flour, salt and baking powder which have been sifted together. Add nuts and fold in beaten whites of eggs, add flavoring. Bake in well-greased loaf pan in moderate oven 35 to 45 minutes. Cover with maple icing page 17 and while still soft sprinkle with chopped nuts. Chocolate layer cake. One-third cup shortening. One cup sugar. One egg. One cup milk. One and three-quarters cups flour. Four teaspoons drive prices baking powder. One quarter teaspoon salt. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Cream shortening, add sugar gradually, beating well. Add beaten egg, one half the milk and mix well, add one half the flour which has been sifted with salt and baking powder, add remainder of milk, then remainder of flour and flavoring, beat after each addition. Bake in greased layer cake tins in moderate oven 15 to 20 minutes. Put together with Chocolate filling and icing 3 cups confectioner's sugar Boiling water 1 teaspoon vanilla extract 2 ounces, 2 squares, unsweetened chocolate 1 half teaspoon grated orange peel To sugar add boiling water very slowly to make a Smooth paste Add vanilla, melted chocolate and orange peel. Spread between layers and on top of cake. This makes a delicious dessert if baked in two layers, iced, and spread with slightly sweetened whipped cream. Coffee spice cake with mocha filling. Half a cup shortening. One cup sugar. Two eggs. Half a cup strong coffee. Two cups flour. Three teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 8 teaspoon salt. 2 teaspoons mixed spices. Cream shortening and sugar until light. Add well beaten yolks of eggs, add coffee slowly, add half of flour sifted with baking powder, salt and spices, 
mix and add well beaten whites of eggs, add remainder of flour and mix lightly. Pour into two large greased layer cake tins and bake in moderate oven 45 to 50 minutes. Spread between layers and cover top with Mocha icing and filling 1 tablespoon butter 1 cup confectioner's sugar 1 tablespoon cocoa 2 tablespoons strong coffee 1 quarter teaspoon salt Cream butter and sugar Add cocoa, coffee, and salt and stir until smooth. If too dry add more coffee. Orange cream layer cake 1 third cup shortening 1 cup sugar 1 egg 1 cup milk 1 and 3 quarters cups flour 1 quarter teaspoon salt 4 teaspoons drive Prices baking powder 1 teaspoon vanilla extract 1 cup sweetened flavored whipped cream Cream shortening, add sugar gradually, beating well, add beaten egg, one half the milk, and mix well. Add one half the flour, which has been sifted with salt and baking powder, add remainder of milk, then remainder of flour and flavoring, beat after each addition. Bake in two greased layer cake tins in moderate oven 15 to 20 minutes. Spread the whipped cream thickly between the layers. Cover top with Orange frosting 1 tablespoon cream 1 cup confectioner's sugar Pulp and grated rind of 1 orange 1 half teaspoon orange extract 1 tablespoon melted butter To the cream add the sugar slowly. Add orange pulp, rind, extract and melted butter. Beat until smooth and spread on top of cake. White layer cake Half a cup shortening 1 cup granulated sugar Half a cup cold water 2 cups flour 2 teaspoons drive Price's baking powder Whites of 3 eggs 1 teaspoon vanilla or almond extract Cream shortening and sugar together until very light, add water slowly, almost drop by drop, and beat constantly. Stir in flour and baking powder which have been sifted together twice, add flavoring, fold in whites of eggs which have been beaten until stiff and dry, pour into two greased layer cake tins. Bake in moderate oven 20 to 25 minutes. Put together with fresh strawberry icing page 18 or maple icing page 17. Devil's Food Cake A quarter cup shortening 1 cup sugar 2 and a half ounces chocolate Half a cup mashed potatoes. One egg. Three eighths cup milk. One and a quarter cups flour. Two teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. Half a cup chopped nuts. One half teaspoon vanilla extract. Cream shortening, add sugar, melted chocolate and mashed potatoes, mix well, add yolk of egg, milk, and flour and baking powder which have been sifted together. Beat well. Add nuts, vanilla and beaten white of egg, mix thoroughly. Bake in greased shallow pan in moderate oven 25 to 35 minutes. Cover with Marshmallow icing 3 quarters cup granulated sugar 1 third cup water 6 or 8 marshmallows White of 1 egg Few drops vanilla extract Boil sugar and water without stirring until syrup spins a thread, melt marshmallows in syrup. Pour slowly over beaten white of egg, add flavoring and spread very thickly over cake. Melt 2 ounces unsweetened chocolate with 1 half teaspoon butter and spread thin coating over icing when cool. Cream layer cake. Half a cup shortening. 1 cup sugar. 2 eggs. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Half a cup milk. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. Cream shortening and sugar together until light. Add yolks of eggs and flavoring, and milk slowly, sift flour and salt, add half, then half of stiffly beaten whites of eggs and remainder of flour sifted with baking powder, stir after each addition, fold in remaining whites of eggs. 
Bake in greased layer cake tins in moderate oven 15 to 20 minutes. Put together with cream filling and cover top and sides with white icing page 17. Cream filling. 1 cup milk. 2 tablespoons cornstarch. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons sugar. 1 egg. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Put milk on to scald. Mix cornstarch, salt and sugar with a little cold milk, add to well-beaten egg. Then add slowly to hot milk. Cook about 3 minutes or until thick and smooth, add flavoring and spread between layers. Coconut layer cake. A quarter cup shortening. 1 cup sugar. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 egg. 1 cup milk. 2 cups flour. 1 8 teaspoon salt. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Cream shortening, add sugar slowly, add flavoring and well beaten egg. Add milk, mix well, then add flour, salt and baking powder which have been sifted together. Bake in 3 greased layer cake tins in moderate oven 12 to 15 minutes. Coconut filling and icing. 1 and a half cups granulated sugar. Half a cup water. 2 egg whites. 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 teaspoon lemon juice. 1 cup fresh grated coconut. Cook sugar and water over slow fire without stirring until syrup spins a thread. Pour slowly over egg whites which have been beaten until stiff, beat until thick enough to spread, add flavoring. Spread between layers and on top of cake. While icing is still soft sprinkle thickly with coconut. Fruit layer cake. 1 third cup shortening. 1 cup sugar. 1 egg. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 cup milk. 2 cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 8 teaspoon salt. Cream shortening well, add sugar, add yolk of egg and vanilla, mix well. Add milk, then flour and baking powder and salt which have been sifted together, mix in beaten white of egg. Bake in 3 greased layer tins in quick oven about 15 minutes. Put cake together with fruit filling and cover with white icing page 17. Fruit filling. Half a cup fruit jelly. 1 cup water. Half a cup chopped raisins. A quarter pound chopped figs. A quarter cup sugar. 2 tablespoons cornstarch. Half a cup chopped blanched almonds or walnuts. Juice of 1 half lemon. Cook jelly with water, fruit and sugar. Add cornstarch which has been mixed with a little cold water. Cook slowly until thick, remove from fire, add nuts and lemon juice. Cool and spread between layers of cake. Lady Baltimore cake. Half a cup shortening. 1 cup sugar. Whites of 3 eggs. Half a cup milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract or 1 half teaspoon almond extract. 1 and 3 quarters cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Cream shortening. Add sugar and unbeaten white of 1 egg, add the milk very slowly, beating between each addition, add flavoring, add the flour which has been sifted with the baking powder. Lastly fold in the beaten whites of two eggs. Bake in square or round greased layer tins in hot oven about 15 minutes. Use the following filling and cover the top and sides of cake with white icing page 17. Filling. 1 and a half cups sugar. Half a cup water. Whites of two eggs. Half a cup chopped seeded raisins. Half a cup chopped figs. 1 cup blanched almonds or pecan nuts. Boil sugar and water without stirring until syrup spins a thread. Pour syrup slowly over beaten eggs. Mix in fruit and nuts. Spread between layers of cake. Butterscotch layer cake. Half a cup butter. 1 cup sugar. 2 eggs. 2 thirds cup milk. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 
1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Cream shortening well, add sugar slowly in the yolks of eggs, beating well. Add milk, a very little at a time. Sift flour, baking powder and salt together and mix in with the first ingredients. Add flavoring and fold in the beaten whites of eggs. Bake in two greased layer tins in moderate oven about 25 minutes. Put butterscotch filling page 18 between layers and on top of cake. Sponge cake. 6 eggs. 1 cup granulated sugar. Rind of half a lemon. 2 tablespoons lemon juice. 1 cup flour. 1 teaspoon drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. Beat egg yolks with wire whip until thick, add gradually sugar which has been sifted, then grated lemon rind, lemon juice and one half beaten whites, mix well. Carefully fold in flour which has been sifted with baking powder and salt, mix in remainder of egg whites. Bake in ungreased tube pan in moderate oven 35 to 45 minutes. When cake shrinks from pan remove from oven and turn upside down on cake cooler. It will gradually come out of pan. Sponge cake 2. 1 cup sugar. 1 cup water. 3 eggs. 1 cup flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 eighth cup cold water. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract or other flavoring. Boil sugar and water until syrup spins a thread. Add slowly to stiffly beaten whites of eggs, beating until mixture is cold. Sift together three times, flour, salt and baking powder, beat yolks of eggs until thick, add a little at a time, flour mixture and egg yolks, alternately to white of egg mixture, stirring after each addition. Add 1 8 cup cold water and flavoring, mix lightly. Bake in ungreased tube pan in moderate oven about 1 hour or shallow tin about 35 minutes. Milk sponge cake. 2 eggs. 1 cup sugar. 6 tablespoons hot milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla or lemon extract. 1 cup flour. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 and a half teaspoons Dr. Price's baking powder. Beat yolks of eggs until thick. Add half of sugar slowly, beating continually. Add hot milk. Remainder of sugar and whites of eggs beaten until stiff, add flavoring, add flour, salt and baking powder which have been sifted together. Bake in ungreased tube pan in moderate oven about 25 minutes. Cake icings and fillings. Boiled icing. 1 cup granulated sugar. Half a cup water. 1 half teaspoon Dr. Price's baking powder. White of 1 egg. 1 half teaspoon flavoring extract. Boil sugar and water until syrup spins a thread. Pour very slowly into stiffly beaten white of egg and beat until smooth, add baking powder and flavoring and mix well. Allow to stand about 10 minutes and spread on cake. Frosting. 1 unbeaten egg white. 1 and a half cups confectioner's sugar. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Put egg white into shallow dish, add sugar gradually beating with wire whip until of right consistency to spread, add vanilla and spread on cake. Ornamental frosting. One and a half cups granulated sugar. Half a cup water. Two egg whites. One teaspoon flavoring extract. One teaspoon drive prices baking powder. Boil sugar and water without stirring until syrup spins a thread. Add very slowly to beaten whites of eggs, add flavoring and baking powder and beat until smooth and stiff enough to spread. Put over boiling water, stirring continually until the icing grates slightly on bottom of bowl. Spread on cake saving a small portion of the icing to ornament the edge of cake. This can be forced through a pastry tube, or through a cornucopia, made from ordinary white letter paper. White or colored icing. One half teaspoon butter. 2 tablespoons hot milk. 1 and a half cups confectioner's sugar. 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract. 
1 half teaspoon Dr. Price's baking powder. Add butter to hot milk. Add sugar slowly to make right consistency to spread, add baking powder and vanilla. Spread on top and sides of cake. If pink icing is desired add 1 tablespoon strawberry or other fruit juice. For yellow icing add 1 teaspoon egg yolk and flavor with orange rind and 1 teaspoon lemon juice. 7 minute icing. 1 unbeaten egg white. 3 tablespoons cold water. 7 eighths cup granulated sugar. Place all ingredients in top of double boiler. Place over boiling water and beat with Dover beater for 7 minutes, add 1 teaspoon vanilla extract and spread on top and sides of cake. For chocolate icing use above, adding 1 and a half ounces melted unsweetened chocolate or 4 and a half tablespoons cocoa after removing from fire. For coffee icing use 3 tablespoons cold boiled coffee in place of water. Chocolate filling and icing. Whites of 2 eggs. 2 cups confectioner's sugar. 1 half teaspoon Dr. Price's baking powder. 1 and a half tablespoons milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 4 ounces chocolate. 1 teaspoon butter. Beat whites until stiff. Add sugar and baking powder slowly, beating continually, add milk, vanilla and chocolate which has been melted with butter, mix until smooth. Spread on cake. Old-fashioned chocolate filling. 3 ounces melted chocolate. 3 tablespoons cream. 1 egg. 3 quarters cup powdered sugar. 1 tablespoon cornstarch. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Add melted chocolate and cream to beaten egg. Mix in powdered sugar gradually, add cornstarch which has been mixed with a little cold water, cook in top of double boiler, stirring constantly until smooth and thick, add salt and vanilla. Spread between layers of cake. Marshmallow filling or icing. 1 and 3 quarters cups sugar. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. Half a cup water. Half a cup marshmallows. Whites of 3 eggs. 1 half teaspoon Dr. Price's baking powder. Mix sugar, salt and water. Add marshmallows and boil without stirring until syrup spins a thread, then add slowly to beaten egg whites, add baking powder and beat until firm enough to spread. Maple icing. I. 1 half teaspoon butter. 2 tablespoons hot milk. 1 and a half cups confectioner's sugar. 1 half teaspoon Dr. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon maple flavoring. Add butter to hot milk, add sugar slowly to make paste of the right consistency to spread. Add baking powder and flavoring and spread on top and sides of cake. Maple icing. 2. 1 cup maple syrup. Whites of 2 eggs. Boil syrup without stirring until it spins a thread, add very slowly to stiffly beaten whites of eggs. Beat well with wire whip, preferably on a platter until stiff enough to spread. Fruit filling. 2 cups granulated sugar. 2 thirds cup boiling water. Whites of 2 eggs. A quarter cup chopped nuts. 1 cup mixed figs, raisins, citron, cherries and pineapple, cut fine. Boil sugar and water without stirring until syrup spins a thread. Beat whites until dry, add syrup gradually, beating constantly, when cool add nuts and fruit. Spread between layers and on top of cake. Orange icing. Rind of 1 orange. 2 teaspoons lemon juice. 1 cup confectioners or powdered sugar. White of 1 egg. Grate orange rind and allow gratings to soak for some time in lemon juice. Stir juice, sugar and egg together and beat thoroughly. Spread on warm cake. Jelly meringue. White of one egg. Half a cup currant or other jelly. Put unbeaten egg white and jelly together into bowl and beat with egg beater or wire whip until stiff. Spread between layers or on top of cake. See foam icing. 1 cup brown sugar. 1 third cup water. 
white of one egg. 1. Teaspoon drive prices baking powder. Boil sugar and water without stirring until syrup spins a thread. Add hot syrup slowly to beaten egg white, beating continually, preferably on platter with wire whip. Add baking powder, when icing foams put between layers and on top of cake. Cocoa icing. 1 cup confectioner's sugar. 4 tablespoons cocoa. White of 1 egg. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 teaspoon melted butter. 1 tablespoon cream. Add sugar and cocoa slowly to beaten egg white. Then add vanilla, melted butter, and cream to make soft enough to spread on cake. Fresh strawberry icing. Crush 10 strawberries with a little sugar and a few drops lemon juice and let stand until juicy. Then mix in gradually 3 cups of confectioner's sugar or sufficient to spread easily. Put between layers and on top of cake. Brown sugar icing and filling. 3 cups brown sugar. 1 cup milk. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Cook sugar, milk and butter together until it forms a soft ball when tested in cold water, add vanilla. Beat until thick and spread on cake. Butterscotch icing and filling, without sugar. 2 cups light syrup. Half a cup butter. Half a cup milk. Boil syrup, butter and milk together until it forms a soft ball when tested in cold water. Cool slightly without stirring and pour while warm on cake. Chopped nuts may be added while icing is still soft. Cookies and small cakes. Cocoa drop cakes. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup sugar. 1 egg. Half a cup milk. 1 and 3 quarters cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Half a cup cocoa. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Cream shortening. Add sugar and beaten egg, beat well and add milk slowly, sift flour, baking powder, cocoa and salt into mixture, stir until smooth, add vanilla. Half-fill greased muffin tins with batter and bake in moderate oven about 20 minutes. Cover with boiled icing page 16. Or bake in shallow pan, cool, and before removing cut across diagonally to make diamond-shaped pieces, cover with icing. Raisin drop cakes. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup sugar. 1 egg. 2 thirds cup milk. 1 and 3 quarters cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 cup raisins. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Cream shortening, add sugar. Add beaten egg and milk slowly, add flour, baking powder and salt which have been sifted together, add raisins which have been washed, drained and floured slightly, add flavoring, mix well. Put a small amount of mixture into greased individual cake tins and bake in hot oven 15 to 20 minutes. Sprinkle with powdered sugar, or cover with icing. Orange cakes. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup sugar. 2 thirds cup milk. 1 egg. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon orange extract. Grated rind of 1 orange. Cream shortening. Add sugar slowly beating well, add milk a little at a time, then add beaten egg, sift flour, baking powder and salt together and add to mixture, add flavoring and orange rind, mix well. Bake in greased shallow tin, or individual cake tins, in hot oven 15 to 20 minutes. When cool cover with orange icing page 18. Molasses cakes. 1 cup molasses. Half a cup sugar. Half a cup melted shortening. Half a cup boiling water. 3 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon soda. 2 teaspoons cinnamon. 1 teaspoon nutmeg. 
1 teaspoon cloves. 1 cup stale bread crumbs. Mix molasses, sugar, shortening and boiling water together. Add flour, baking powder, salt, soda and spices which have been sifted together. Add bread crumbs, mix well. Drop by spoonfuls on greased baking sheet and bake in moderate oven 10 to 12 minutes. Small fancy cakes. I. Half a cup shortening. 1 cup granulated or powdered sugar. Yolks of 3 eggs. Half a cup milk. 2 cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Cream shortening, add sugar slowly and beat well, add beaten egg yolks. Add milk a little at a time and flour which has been sifted with baking powder, divide batter in half and add to one half one teaspoon lemon juice and the grated rind of half a lemon. To the other half of batter add 2 ounces unsweetened melted chocolate, 1 teaspoon vanilla. Bake in shallow greased pan or in very small individual tins in hot oven about 15 minutes. If a large pan in used, when cool cut cakes into fancy shapes. Cakes should be less than an inch thick when baked. Spread with colored or marshmallow icing page 17. Small fancy cakes. 2. Half a cup shortening. 1 cup granulated sugar. 2 thirds cup water. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 2 cups flour. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Whites of 3 eggs. Cream shortening and sugar together until very light. Add water very slowly beating constantly, add flavoring, stir in the flour, salt and baking powder which have been sifted together twice, mix in beaten egg whites. Put about a teaspoonful of batter into each small individual cake tin and bake in hot oven 10 to 15 minutes, or bake in shallow pan and cut as in above recipe or diagonally across making small diamond-shaped pieces. Spread with any icing desired. Spice cakes. Half a cup shortening. One cup brown sugar. One egg. 1 and 3 quarters cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. 1 half teaspoon cinnamon. 1 quarter teaspoon nutmeg. 1 quarter teaspoon cloves. Half a cup milk. 1 cup chopped raisins. Cream shortening, add sugar and beaten egg, add flour, baking powder and spices which have been sifted together. Add milk and mix well. Mix in raisins which have been slightly floured. Bake in small greased tins in moderate oven about 25 minutes. Honey drop cakes. 1 third cup shortening. A quarter cup sugar. Half a cup honey. 1 egg. 1 half tablespoon lemon juice. 1 and a half cups flour. 1 and a half teaspoons Dr. Price's baking powder. Cream shortening and add sugar slowly, add honey, beaten egg yolk and lemon juice. Mix well and add flour and baking powder which have been sifted together, fold in beaten egg white. Put into greased individual tins or drop from tip of spoon on greased baking sheet and bake in hot oven 10 to 15 minutes. Cookies 3 quarters cup shortening 2 cups sugar 2 eggs 1 quarter teaspoon grated nutmeg. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract or grated rind of 1 lemon. 4 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Cream shortening and sugar together. Add milk to beaten eggs and beat again, add slowly to cream shortening and sugar, add nutmeg and flavoring, add 2 cups flour sifted with baking powder, add enough more flour to make stiff dough. Roll out very thin on floured board. Cut with cookie cutter, sprinkle with sugar, put a raisin or a piece of walnut in the center of each. Bake about 12 minutes in hot oven. Cocoa cookies. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup sugar. A quarter cup milk. 1 egg. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. Half a cup cocoa.
Cream shortening and sugar together, add milk and beaten egg, mix well, sift flour, baking powder, cocoa and salt together and add. Roll out a quarter inch thick on floured board, cut with cookie cutter. Bake in hot oven about 12 minutes. Filled cookies. 1 third cup shortening. 1 cup sugar. 1 egg. Half a cup milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 3 and a half cups flour. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Cream shortening, add sugar, beaten egg, milk and vanilla. Add flour, salt and baking powder, which have been sifted together. Roll out thin on slightly floured board and cut with cookie cutter. Place one teaspoonful of filling on each cookie, cover with another cookie, press edges together. Bake in moderate oven 12 to 15 minutes. Filling. 2 teaspoons flour. Half a cup sugar. Half a cup water. Half a cup chopped raisins. Half a cup chopped figs. Mix flour and sugar together, add water and fruit. Cook until thick, being very careful not to burn. Marshmallow cookies. Follow recipe for cookies. Roll slightly thicker. After removing from oven, cover with marshmallow icing page 17. Nut bars. Half a cup shortening. One and a half cups sugar. Two eggs. Four tablespoons milk. Four cups flour. Three teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. One eighth teaspoon salt. Half a cup blanched almonds. Reserve one egg yolk for top. Cream shortening and sugar together, add slowly beaten yolk and whites of two eggs and three tablespoons milk, mix well together. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt and add, mixing well. Roll half dough at a time a quarter inch thick on floured board, cut into bars one by three inches. Brush with yolk of remaining egg mixed with one tablespoon milk and sprinkle with chopped nuts. Bake in moderate oven about 15 minutes. Coconut cookies. A quarter cup shortening. Half a cup sugar. One egg. One half teaspoon lemon juice or extract. Half a cup milk. One and a half cups flour. Three teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. One eighth teaspoon salt. Two cups fresh grated coconut. Cream shortening, add sugar, beaten egg and lemon juice, mix in milk slowly, add flour, baking powder and salt which have been sifted together, add coconut. The batter should be quite stiff. Drop by small spoonfuls on greased pan. Do not smooth over, but allow space for spreading. Bake in moderate oven 15 to 20 minutes. Fudge squares. 3 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup sugar. 1 egg. 2 ounces unsweetened chocolate. 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 third cup milk. 1 cup flour. 1 teaspoon drive prices baking powder. Half a cup nut meats chopped, not too fine. Melt shortening. Add sugar and unbeaten egg, mix well, add chocolate which has been melted, vanilla and milk. Add flour which has been sifted with the baking powder, add nut meats and mix well. Spread very thinly on greased shallow cake pan, and bake in slow oven from 20 to 30 minutes. Cut into 2 inch squares while still warm and before removing from pan. Oatmeal macaroons. 2 eggs. 1 cup sugar. 1 tablespoon melted shortening. 3 quarters teaspoon salt. Two and a half cups rolled oats. Two teaspoons drive prices baking powder. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Beat egg yolks and white separately. Cream sugar with shortening, add egg yolks, salt and rolled oats, add baking powder, egg whites and vanilla, mix thoroughly. Drop on greased tins about half teaspoon to each macaroon allowing space for spreading. Bake about 10 minutes in moderate oven. Hermits. 6 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup brown sugar. 1 egg. 
half a cup milk, one and a half cups flour, two teaspoons drive, Price's baking powder, one quarter teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cloves, one teaspoon allspice, one teaspoon cinnamon, one cup seeded raisins, two tablespoons cut citron, cream shortening, add sugar and beaten egg, mix well, add milk very slowly. Sift flour, baking powder, salt and spices together and add slowly, chop fruit, dredge with flour and add. Drop from spoon on greased tins and bake in moderate oven 15 minutes. Fruit Shortcakes Although strawberries are more commonly used, other fruits such as raspberries, blackberries, loganberries, peaches, bananas, and oranges, and even stewed, dried or canned fruits can be substituted and make delicious shortcakes. Old-fashioned shortcake 2 cups flour 1 half teaspoon salt 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder 2 tablespoons sugar 3 tablespoons shortening 3 quarters cup milk 1 quart berries Sift dry ingredients, cut in shortening, add milk to make soft dough. Smooth out lightly. Bake in greased deep layer cake tin in hot oven 20 to 25 minutes. Split while hot and spread between layers with crushed and sweetened berries or other fruit. Strawberry shortcake. 2 cups flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 4 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 2 tablespoons sugar, 3 tablespoons shortening, 1 egg, half a cup milk. Sift dry ingredients, cut in shortening. Add beaten egg to milk and add to dry ingredients to make soft dough. Divide dough in half. Take one half, pat out lightly and put into greased deep layer tin, spread with butter. Cover with other half of dough which has also been patted out to fit pan. Bake in hot oven 20 to 25 minutes. Split while hot and spread crushed and sweetened berries and whipped cream between layers, cover top with whipped cream and whole berries. Dust with powdered sugar and serve. Strawberry cake. 1 cup sugar. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 egg. 2 cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 8 teaspoon salt. 1 cup milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 half pint heavy cream. 1 quart strawberries. Cream sugar and shortening together, add beaten egg. Add part of flour, baking powder and salt which have been sifted together, then part of milk, mix well and add remainder of flour, mix in remainder of milk and flavoring. Bake in shallow greased pan in moderate oven 20 to 30 minutes. When cold split in half and spread whipped cream and crushed sweetened strawberries between layers. Cover top with whipped cream and whole strawberries. Puddings and other desserts. Baked custard. 4 eggs. Half a cup sugar. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 quart milk. Beat eggs, sugar, salt and vanilla together, scald milk and add very slowly, stirring constantly. Put into greased baking dish or small molds, place in pan of water in slow oven and bake 30 to 40 minutes. Test with knife which will come out clean when custard is baked. For caramel custard add to eggs 4 tablespoons caramel sauce page 25. Rice pudding. 1 cup rice. 1 and a half quarts milk. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 cup sugar. Grated orange rind. 1 cup seeded raisins. Wash rice with several waters, put into pudding dish. Add milk, salt, sugar, orange rind, and bake in slow oven about 1 and a half hours or until thick, stirring several times during baking, add raisins, and bake 20 minutes longer. Cottage pudding. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. Half a cup sugar. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. Half a cup milk. 
1 egg 2 tablespoons shortening Sift together flour, baking powder, sugar and salt, add milk, beaten egg and melted shortening, beat 2 minutes. Pour into greased shallow pan and bake in hot oven about 20 minutes. Serve with lemon, chocolate or other sauce. Suet pudding. Half a cup chopped suet. Half a cup seeded raisins. Half a cup currants. One and a half cups grated bread. One cup flour. Two teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. Half a cup brown sugar. Two cups milk. Mix ingredients in order given, beat well. Put into greased mold, place in covered saucepan with boiling water halfway up sides of mold. Steam two hours. Turn out carefully. Serve with hard or other sauce page 25. Tapioca pudding. Half a cup pearl tapioca or three tablespoons minute tapioca. One quart milk. One teaspoon melted butter. Six tablespoons sugar. Two eggs. One quarter teaspoon salt. Two eggs. One teaspoon vanilla or lemon extract. Soak tapioca in cold water one hour. Drain, add milk and butter, and cook in double boiler until tapioca is transparent. Add sugar and salt to beaten eggs and combine by pouring hot mixture slowly on eggs. Return to double boiler and cook just until it thickens. Add flavoring and serve hot or cold with cream. Apple cake. One and a half cups flour. Three teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. One half teaspoon salt. Two tablespoons shortening. Half a cup milk. Four or five apples. Half a cup sugar. One teaspoon cinnamon. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, add shortening and rub in very lightly. Add milk slowly to make soft dough and mix. Place on floured board and roll out half an inch thick. Put into shallow greased pan. Wash, pare, core and cut apples into sections, press them into dough, sprinkle with sugar and dust with cinnamon. Bake in moderate oven 30 minutes or until apples are tender and brown. Serve warm with milk or cream. Apple dumplings. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 3 tablespoons shortening. Half a cup milk. 4 apples. 4 tablespoons sugar. 2 teaspoons butter. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, rub shortening in lightly. Add just enough milk to make soft dough. Roll out 1 8 inch thick on floured board, divide into 4 parts, lay on each part an apple which has been washed, pared, cored and sliced, add 1 teaspoon sugar and 1 half teaspoon butter to each. Wet edges of dough with cold water and fold around apple pressing tightly together. Place in greased pan. Sprinkle with sugar and cinnamon and put little butter on each dumpling. Bake 40 minutes in moderate oven. Serve with hard sauce page 25. Peach dumplings may be made in the same way. Apple roll. For medium-sized apples. One and a half cups sugar. Two cups water. Peel, core, and chop apples fine. Cook sugar and water in baking pan over slow fire. While cooking make rich biscuit dough. See Strawberry Shortcake page 21. Roll out about half an inch thick, spread with apples and roll into a long roll, cut into pieces about one half or two inches long. Place with cut side down in hot syrup, put small piece of butter on top and sprinkle with cinnamon and sugar. Bake in hot oven until apples are done and crust golden brown. Turn out on platter, add syrup and serve with plain or whipped cream. Peaches or other fruit may be used in place of apples. Meringues. Whites of three eggs. One and a quarter cups granulated sugar. Three teaspoons drive prices baking powder. One quarter teaspoon vanilla extract. Beat whites of eggs until stiff and dry. 
Add gradually two-thirds of sugar and continue beating until mixture holds shape, fold in remaining sugar sifted with baking powder, add vanilla. Drop by spoonfuls on unglazed paper and bake in slow oven 30 minutes. Remove any soft part from center of meringues and return to oven to dry out after turning off heat. Use two meringues for each serving and put together with sweetened whipped cream and crushed raspberries or strawberries or ice cream. Banana cake with jelly sauce. 1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 2 tablespoons sugar. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 3 quarters cup milk. 1 egg. 4 bananas. Sift flour, baking powder, sugar and salt into bowl, add milk and beaten eggs, mix well. Peel and scrape the bananas. Cut in halves, lengthwise, then across. Pour batter into greased shallow pan, place bananas on top and sprinkle with sugar. Bake in moderate oven 15 minutes. Serve hot with jelly sauce. Jelly sauce. 1 cup water. 2 tablespoons jelly. 1 tablespoon sugar. 1 teaspoon cornstarch. Put water into saucepan, bring to a boil. Add jelly and sugar, stir until dissolved, add cornstarch mixed with a little cold water, boil 3 minutes. Charlotte Russe 1 pint cream 1 quarter cup powdered sugar 1 teaspoon vanilla extract Mix ingredients Have very cold and whip to stiff froth. Line dish with sponge cake or lady fingers, fill with whipped cream and serve cold. Boston Cream Pie 2 eggs 1 cup flour 1 and a half teaspoons dar Price's baking powder 3 quarters cup sugar 1 eighth teaspoon salt Half a cup boiling milk 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract Add beaten egg yolks to stiffly beaten whites and gradually add flour, baking powder, sugar and salt which have been sifted together 4 times. Add hot milk very slowly, add vanilla. Bake in deep layer cake tin in moderate oven about 35 minutes. When cool, split and put between layers the following cream filling. Sprinkle cake with powdered sugar. Cream filling. Half a cup sugar. 2 tablespoons cornstarch. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 2 eggs. 1 cup scalded milk. 1 teaspoon butter. 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract. Mix sugar, cornstarch, salt and beaten eggs, add gradually scalded milk, add butter. Cook in double boiler until thick and smooth, stirring constantly, add flavoring, cool and put between layers of cake. Chocolate Blanc Mange. 4 tablespoons cornstarch. 3 quarters cup sugar. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 quart milk. 3 ounces unsweetened chocolate or 9 tablespoons cocoa. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Mix cornstarch. Sugar and salt and cocoa if used together with a little of the cold milk. Put remainder of milk on to scald with chocolate which has been cut into small pieces. As soon as chocolate is dissolved, stir in the cornstarch mixture. Cook until thick and smooth, stirring constantly. Set over hot water and cook about 20 minutes longer. Add flavoring, pour into mold which has been wet in cold water. Chill and serve cold with sweetened whipped cream. Floating Island 1 quart milk 4 eggs 4 tablespoons sugar 1 quarter teaspoon salt Half a cup currant jelly 2 teaspoons vanilla or almond extract Scald milk Beat egg yolks, stir in sugar and salt, add hot milk gradually, mixing well. Cook slowly until mixture begins to thicken, stirring continually. Cool, flavor and put into dish. Put on top meringue of whites whipped until dry, and into which jelly has been beaten, a teaspoon at a time, or drop meringue by spoonfuls on top of custard and put small pieces of jelly in center of each. Chill and serve. Huckleberry float. 1 cup berries 3 tablespoons sugar 
1 cup flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon shortening. Half a cup milk. Pick over and wash berries. Put into small saucepan with half cup of water, and bring quickly to boil, add sugar and boil 5 minutes. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, mix in shortening very lightly, add milk slowly. Take a teaspoonful at a time in floured hands and roll into balls. Place on floured pie tin, bake about 12 minutes in hot oven. While warm break in half, butter each biscuit, put into dish and pour berries over. Serve hot with hard sauce. Blueberry cake. 3 tablespoons shortening. 1 cup sugar. 1 egg. 3 quarters cup milk. 1 and 3 quarters cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Half a cups floured blueberries. Cream shortening, add sugar, beaten egg and milk. Sift flour and baking powder and add, stir in blueberries. Bake in shallow greased pan in moderate oven 25 to 30 minutes. Serve hot with or without butter. Prune puff. 4 eggs. Half a cup powdered sugar. 1 cup cooked prunes. Whip egg whites to stiff froth, add sugar slowly, beating continually, add prunes which have been stoned and chopped, whip until very light. Bake in pudding dish in moderate oven about 10 minutes. Serve cold with whipped cream or soft custard made from yolks of eggs, see recipe for floating island. Lemon jelly. 1 cup sugar. 1 and a half cups water. 1 tablespoon granulated gelatin. A quarter cup lemon juice. Boil sugar and water 2 or 3 minutes, add gelatin which has been soaked in 2 tablespoons cold water, stirring constantly, add lemon juice. Chill and mold which has been dipped in cold water and serve. Fruit may be molded in the jelly by chilling part of mixture, adding fruit, then jelly, chilling and so on until mold is filled. Steamed fig or date pudding. A quarter cup shortening. One cup sugar. One egg. One cup milk. Two cups flour. Four teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 8 teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon vanilla or lemon extract. 1 and a half cups chopped figs or dates. Cream shortening. Add sugar slowly and beaten egg, add milk, mix well, add flour, baking powder and salt, which have been sifted together, add flavoring and fruit. Pour into greased pudding mold and steam for 2 hours. Serve with foamy sauce. Cream puffs. 1 cup boiling water. Half a cup shortening. 1 cup flour. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 3 eggs. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Heat water and shortening in saucepan until it boils up well. Add all at once flour sifted with salt and stir vigorously. Remove from fire as soon as mixed, cool, and mix in unbeaten eggs, one at a time. Add baking powder. Mix and drop by spoonfuls one and a half inches apart on greased tin shaping into circular form with spoon but keeping mixture higher in center. Bake about 30 minutes in hot oven. Cut with sharp knife near base to admit filling. Cream filling. 1 cup sugar. 1 third cup cornstarch. 1 third teaspoon salt. 1 egg. 2 cups scalded milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Mix dry ingredients, add slightly beaten egg and stir into this gradually the scalded milk. Cook about 15 minutes in double boiler, stirring constantly until thickened. Cool slightly and flavor. Sweetened whipped cream may be used instead of this filling. Jelly roll. 1 cup sugar. 1 and a half cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Prices baking powder. 1 8 teaspoon salt. 2 eggs. 4 tablespoons hot water. Currant or other jelly. Mix and sift dry ingredients, stir in beaten eggs, 
add hot water slowly, beat until smooth, pour into large well-greased pan. Batter should be spread very thin and not more than a quarter inch thick when baked. Bake in moderate oven about 8 to 10 minutes. Turn out on sheet of brown paper, beat jelly with fork and spread on cake. With sharp knife trim off all crusty edges and roll up while still warm by lifting one side of paper. To keep roll perfectly round, wrap in slightly damp cloth until cool. Sprinkle with powdered sugar. Christmas plum pudding. 2 cups ground suet. 2 cups bread crumbs. 2 cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 2 cups sugar. 2 cups seeded raisins. 2 cups currants. 1 cup finely cut citron. 1 cup finely cut figs. 1 tablespoon finely cut orange peel. 1 tablespoon finely cut lemon peel. 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon. 1 teaspoon ground. Ginger. 1 quarter teaspoon ground cloves. 1 quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg. 1 quarter teaspoon ground mace. 1 tablespoon salt. 1 cup water or prune juice. 1 cup grape or other fruit juice. Mix thoroughly all dry ingredients and add fruit. Stir in water and fruit juice and mix thoroughly. Add more water if necessary to make stiff dough. Fill greased molds two-thirds full and steam five or six hours. This pudding should be prepared and cooked a week or more before used. Before serving steam one hour and serve with hard, lemon or foamy sauce. Pudding sauces. Hard sauce. One third cup butter. 1 cup powdered sugar. 1 half teaspoon flavoring extract. Cream butter until very light, add sugar very slowly, beating until light and creamy. Add flavoring and beat again. Foamy sauce. 6 tablespoons butter. 1 cup powdered sugar. 3 eggs. 2 tablespoons boiling water. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Cream butter. Add sugar slowly, beating continually, beat egg yolks until thick and add gradually, beat well. Add stiffly beaten egg whites, flavoring and water. Before serving heat over boiling water 5 minutes, stirring constantly. Chocolate sauce. 1 and 3 quarters cups water. 3 quarters cup sugar. 1 half tablespoon cornstarch. 2 squares chocolate or 6 tablespoons cocoa. Half a cup cold water. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract. Boil water and sugar 5 minutes. Mix grated chocolate or cocoa with cornstarch and cold water. Add to first mixture and boil 5 minutes. Add salt, butter, and vanilla and serve hot. Maple sauce. 1 cup sugar. 1 cup water. 1 teaspoon cornstarch. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. 1 tablespoon maple flavoring. Heat half the sugar in frying pan, stir continually, when brown add water and boil. Add remainder of sugar, cornstarch mixed with a little cold water, lemon juice and maple flavoring, boil 3 minutes, serve hot. Fruit sauce. 1 third cup butter. 1 cup powdered sugar. 1 cup fresh strawberries, raspberries. Or canned fruit drained from syrup. White of 1 egg. Cream butter, add sugar gradually, add egg beaten until stiff and beat well. Add fruit which has been carefully prepared and mashed. Beat until creamy. Caramel sauce. 2 cups granulated sugar. 5 cups boiling water. Melt sugar in saucepan and heat slowly, stirring constantly until golden brown, add boiling water. Cook 3 minutes. Lemon or orange sauce. 1 cup water. 2 tablespoons sugar. 1 teaspoon cornstarch. 2 tablespoons lemon or orange juice. Boil water, sugar and cornstarch mixed with little cold water. 
Boil 5 minutes and add fruit juice and 1 tablespoon caramel if dark color is desired. Pastry A small amount of Dr. Price's baking powder will make pastry lighter, more tender and more digestible. Pastry should rise in baking to double its thickness, and be in light, flaky, tender layers. The novice must learn to handle it lightly and as little as possible in rolling and turning. All materials should be cold and pastry is improved if put into the icebox as soon as made and allowed to stand several hours before using. Pastry flour is better than bread flour for pie crust. Plain Pastry This recipe is for one large pie with top and bottom crust. 2 cups flour 2 teaspoons drive Price's baking powder 1 half teaspoon salt Half a cup shortening. Cold water. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, add shortening and rub in very lightly with tips of fingers. Add cold water very slowly, enough to hold dough together, do not work or knead dough. Divide in halves, roll out one part very thin on floured board, and use for bottom crust. After pie is filled roll out other part for top. Place loosely over pie, bringing pastry well over edge of pie plate. Trim off extra paste. Press edges of pastry with fork. Prick or cut two or three slashes in top of pie crust and bake in hot oven. Rich pastry. Two cups pastry flour. One half teaspoon Dr. Price's baking powder. One half teaspoon salt. Two thirds cup shortening. Cold water. Sift flour baking powder and salt, add half the shortening and rub in lightly with fingers. Add water slowly until of right consistency to roll out. Divide in halves, roll out one half very thin, put on in small pieces half remaining shortening, fold upper and lower edges into center, fold sides into center, fold sides to center again. Roll out thin and put on pie plate. Repeat with other half for top crust. Apple pie. One and a half cups flour. One and a half teaspoons dyar. Price's baking powder. One half teaspoon salt. One third cup shortening. Cold water. Four apples or one quart sliced apples. Four tablespoons sugar. One tablespoon butter. Sift flour, baking powder and salt, add shortening and rub in very lightly. Add just enough cold water to hold dough together. Roll half out on floured board, line bottom of pie plate, fill in apples, which have been washed, pared and cut into thin slices, sprinkle with sugar and dot with small pieces of butter. Flavor with cinnamon or nutmeg, wet edges of crust with cold water, roll out remainder of pastry, cover pie, pressing edges tightly together. Trim off extra paste. Prick top of crust with fork or knife and bake in moderate oven 30 minutes. Sprinkle with powdered sugar and serve hot. Pumpkin pie. 2 cups stewed and strained pumpkin. 2 cups rich milk or cream. 3 quarters cup brown or granulated sugar. 2 eggs. 1 quarter teaspoon ginger. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon cinnamon. Mix pumpkin with milk, sugar, beaten eggs, ginger, salt, cinnamon. And beat 2 minutes. Pour into pie tin which has been lined with pastry. Place in hot oven for 15 minutes, then reduce heat and bake 45 minutes in moderate oven. Lemon meringue pie. 2 cups water. 3 tablespoons cornstarch. 2 tablespoons flour. 1 cup sugar. 3 eggs 4 tablespoons lemon juice 1 teaspoon grated lemon rind 1 teaspoon salt Line pie plate loosely with pastry and bake about 10 minutes or until Very light brown Put water on to boil, mix cornstarch, flour and sugar with half a cup cold water until smooth, separate eggs, add egg yolks, mix well and add slowly to boiling water Cook 5 minutes, stirring constantly, add lemon juice, rind and salt. Pour into baked crust. Beat egg whites, 
add 3 tablespoons sugar and spread thickly over top of pie. Dust with sugar and brown slightly in slow oven. Strawberry pie. 1 cup flour. 1 half teaspoon salt. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. A quarter cup cold water. 4 tablespoons shortening. 1 quart strawberries. Sift dry ingredients together, rub in shortening very lightly with fingertips, add water slowly, just enough to make a stiff dough. Roll out on floured board and use for bottom crust of pie, being careful to fold the paste well over the edge of pie plate. Bake in hot oven 12 to 15 minutes. If glazed crust is desired, brush edges after baking with boiling hot syrup, 2 tablespoons syrup and 1 tablespoon water, and return to oven for 1 or 2 minutes until syrup hardens. Fill the baked crust with fresh selected whole strawberries and cover with syrup made as follows. Add half a cup sugar and half a cup strawberries to 2 cups boiling water, bring to a boil and strain. Add 1 tablespoon cornstarch which has been mixed with little cold water. Cook over hot fire for a minute or two, stirring constantly, remove from fire and beat hard, return to slow fire, cook very gently until thick. Pour while hot over strawberries. Serve either hot or cold. Custard pie. 3 eggs. 3 quarters cup sugar. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 2 cups scalded milk. Beat eggs, add sugar, salt and milk slowly, add vanilla. Line pie plate with pastry page 26, pour in custard. Bake in moderate oven 25 to 30 minutes or until custard is baked. Coconut pie is made the same way, adding 1 cup fresh grated coconut and using only 2 eggs. Bake as above. Mince pie. Mince pie should always be made with 2 crusts. Line pie plate with pastry page 26, fill with mince meat, cover with pastry and bake in hot oven 25 minutes. Mince meat. 2 pounds. Fresh lean beef, boiled and chopped fine when cold. 1 pound, suet, chopped very fine. 5 pounds, chopped apples. 1 pound, seeded raisins. 2 pounds, currants. 3 quarters pound. Sliced citron. 1 and a half teaspoon cinnamon. 1 grated nutmeg. 2 tablespoons ground mace. 1 tablespoon ground cloves. 1 tablespoon allspice. 1 tablespoon fine salt. 2 and a half pounds brown sugar. 1 qt sherry or boiled cider. 1 point. Brandy or grape juice. Mix all ingredients thoroughly. Pack in jars. Store in cold, dry place. Allow to stand 24 hours before using. Rhubarb pie. 2 cups cut rhubarb. 1 cup sugar. 1 tablespoon cornstarch. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. Cut off root, stem ends, and peel, cut into small pieces, put into deep pie plate which has been lined with pastry. Sprinkle with cornstarch, salt and sugar which have been mixed together. Cover with pastry, prick top of crust and bake about one half hour in moderate oven. Berry pies. 3 cups blueberries, huckleberries, or blackberries. 1 teaspoon flour. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. 2 thirds cup sugar. 1 teaspoon butter. Line pie plate with plain pastry, fill heaping with berries. Sprinkle with flour, salt and sugar mixed together, dot with small pieces of butter, cover with crust or strips of pastry across top. Bake about 45 minutes in moderate oven. Other fruit pies can be made in same way. Cherry tarts. 1 and a half cups flour. 3 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 6 tablespoons shortening. 1 third cup cold water. 1 quart pitted cherries. Sift dry ingredients together. Rub in shortening very lightly with fingertips. Add water slowly, just enough to make stiff dough, 
roll out very thin on floured board, line patty pans with pastry, being very careful to have pastry come well over the edges of pans. Bake in hot oven about 12 or 15 minutes. Fill with cherries which have been washed and picked over. Cover with syrup made as for strawberry pie above, using half a cup cherries instead of strawberries. Other fruit can be used in place of cherries. Frozen desserts. How to freeze. Scald ice cream can, cover and dasher, adjust can in freezer, put in dasher, pour in mixture to be frozen and fasten cover, the can should never be more than three quarters full, but just crank and turn once or twice. Fill space around can to within an inch of top with ice and salt, three parts crushed ice to one part salt, packing hard. Turn slowly at first, increasing speed when mixture begins to stiffen. Add more ice and salt as required. When mixture is very firm, wipe off cover, open can and remove dasher, scrape frozen mixture from dasher and sides of can, and pack down solidly, cover with paper and replace cover. Put cork in opening in cover. Pour off salt water if there is danger of its getting into the can. Fill up over top of can with ice and salt, 4 parts ice to 1 part salt. Cover freezer with heavy blanket and keep in cool place until ready to serve. Philadelphia ice cream. 1 quart cream. 1 cup sugar. 1 tablespoon vanilla extract. Scald 1 cup of cream. Add sugar and stir until dissolved. Cool and add remainder of cream and vanilla. Freeze as above. Strawberry ice cream. Add to Philadelphia ice cream before freezing one quart of berries which have been washed, hulled, crushed and slightly sweetened. Chocolate ice cream. Melt two ounces unsweetened chocolate with half pint cream and proceed as for Philadelphia ice cream. French ice cream. 1 cup milk. Yolks of 4 eggs. 1 cup sugar. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon vanilla extract. 1 quart cream. Scald milk and add slowly to beaten egg yolks, add sugar, salt, vanilla and cream which has been whipped. Freeze as above. Coffee ice cream. Add 1 cup coffee to either French or Philadelphia ice cream. Frozen pudding. 3 cups milk. 1 tablespoon cornstarch. 3 eggs. 1 cup sugar. 1 eighth teaspoon salt. 1 cup chopped mixed fruit. Scald milk in double boiler. Mix cornstarch with little cold milk, add beaten eggs, sugar and salt. Mix well and add slowly to scalded milk, stirring until it thickens. Cool and add fruit, which has been put through food chopper. The fruit is a matter of taste. It may be 2 tablespoons raisins, 1 tablespoon citron, 1 tablespoon cherries, 1 tablespoon blanched almonds, 1 tablespoon candied pineapple and a few currants. Freeze, but not too stiff, put into mold and pack in ice and salt. Grape sherbet. 1 pint grape juice. 1 cup sugar. 1 quart milk. Warm grape juice, and in it dissolve sugar, mix thoroughly with ice cold milk, freeze at once. This makes a lilac colored sherbet. Lemon sherbet. Juice of 3 lemons. 1 and a half cups sugar. 1 quart milk. Mix juice and sugar, stirring constantly while slowly adding very cold milk. If added too rapidly, mixture will curdle. However, this does not affect quality. Freeze and serve. Orange water ice. Juice of 6 oranges. 2 teaspoons orange extract. 1 quart water. Juice of 1 lemon. 2 cups powdered sugar. Half a cup cream. Mix all ingredients together, strain and freeze. Strawberry mousse. 1 quart strawberries. 1 cup sugar. 1 quarter box or 1 tablespoon granulated gelatin. 2 tablespoons cold water. 3 tablespoons boiling water. 1 quart cream. Wash and hull berries, sprinkle with sugar and let stand 1 hour. Mash and rub through fine sieve, 
add gelatin which has been soaked in cold water and dissolved in boiling water. Set in pan of ice water and stir until it begins to thicken, fold in whipped cream. Put into mold, cover, pack in salt and ice, one part salt to three parts ice, let stand four hours. Raspberries, peaches, shredded pineapple, or other fruit can be substituted for strawberries. Soups The basis of all good soups is the stock or liquid in which bones, cooked or uncooked meat or vegetables have been boiled. The proportions for soup stock are generally one pound meat and bone to one quart water. The meat should be cut into small pieces and put into kettle with bones, covered with cold water and cooked slowly for several hours. Gravies and browned pieces of meat are often added to the soup kettle for color and flavoring. The stock should be strained, quickly cooled and all fat removed. Cream soups are made with a cream sauce foundation to which is added strained pulp of vegetables or fish. Brown soup stock. 6 pounds. Shin of beef. 3 to 6 quarts cold water. 1 bay leaf. 6 cloves. 1 tablespoon mixed herbs. 2 sprigs parsley. Half a cup carrot. Half a cup turnip. Half a cup celery. Half a cup onion. White beef and cut lean meat into cubes, brown one third in hot frying pan. Put remaining two thirds with bone and fat into soup kettle, add water and let stand 30 minutes. Place on back of range, add browned meat and heat gradually to boiling point. Cover and cook slowly 6 hours. Add vegetables and seasoning 1 hour before it is finished. Strain and put away to cool. Remove all fat, reheat and serve. Bean soup. 2 cups beans. 2 tablespoons finely cut onion. 2 tablespoons finely cut bacon. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 2 tablespoons chopped parsley. 1 teaspoon thyme. 3 tablespoons flour. Soak beans in water overnight. Drain and put into saucepan with 6 cups boiling water and boil slowly 2 hours or until soft, add onion and bacon which have been fried light brown, boil 5 minutes, add salt, pepper, parsley and thyme. Mash beans with back of spoon. Add flour which has been mixed with a little cold water, boil 5 minutes and serve. Cream Soups This is the foundation or sauce for many fish and vegetable cream soups. 1 quart milk. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon white pepper. 2 tablespoons flour. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 cup boiling water. Scald milk and add seasoning, thicken with flour and butter rub to a cream with boiling water and boil 2 minutes. For pea soup boil and mash 2 cups green peas and add to sauce. For cream of celery boil 2 cups cut celery until tender, rub through sieve, add to milk and proceed as above. For potato soup use 6 large or 10 medium sized potatoes boiled and mashed fine. Stir into milk, proceed as above, and strain. Add a tablespoon chopped parsley just before serving. For corn soup use same foundation, adding a can of corn, or corn cut from 6 ears boiled fresh corn and boil 15 minutes. For cream of fish soup add to milk about 1 pound of boiled fish, rubbed through sieve and proceed as above. Creole soup. A quarter cup rice. 1 third cup chopped onion. 2 tablespoons bacon drippings. 2 cups tomatoes. 2 teaspoons salt. 1 teaspoon sugar. 1 8 teaspoon paprika. 1 tablespoon parsley. Wash rice, add 3 cups boiling water and boil 30 minutes. Cook onion in pan with drippings until tender, but not brown, add tomatoes and boil 10 minutes, rub through strainer into boiled rice and water, add seasoning and sprinkle with parsley. Add little chopped green pepper if desired. Cream of tomato soup. 1 quart tomatoes. 1 quarter teaspoon soda. 4 tablespoons butter. 4 tablespoons flour. 1 quart milk. 1 tablespoon salt. 
1 half teaspoon pepper. Stew tomatoes slowly 1 half hour, rub through strainer, heat and add soda. In the meantime, melt butter and stir in flour, add milk slowly, cooking over low fire until thick, add seasoning. Take from fire and stir in hot tomatoes and serve immediately. Onion soup. 2 cups finely chopped onion. 2 tablespoons butter or bacon drippings. 4 cups rice water or vegetable stock. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon white pepper. 1 eighth teaspoon paprika. 2 tablespoons chopped parsley. Cook onions and butter or drippings in covered saucepan. Shaking pan often. When tender add rice water or stock, boil 5 minutes, add seasoning and parsley. Serve with croutons. Fish. Fish is in good condition when gills are a bright, clear red, eyes full and flesh firm. Before cooking wash thoroughly in cold water. Always cook fish thoroughly. Boiled fish. Cook small fish whole in sufficient boiling water to cover. Cut large fish, such as salmon or halibut in thick pieces and tie in piece of cheesecloth. Boil from 20 to 45 minutes, depending upon weight of fish. Drain, season and serve with egg sauce page 35. Broiled fish. Clean, wash, and split, removing backbone and fins along the edge. Very large fish should be cut into slices. Dry on piece of cheesecloth, season with salt and pepper. Cook on well-greased broiler, from 10 to 20 minutes, turning frequently. Remove to hot platter, add melted butter and sprinkle with chopped parsley, garnish with slices of lemon and serve. Baked fish. Prepare as four broiled fish. Brush pan with drippings, place fish, skin side down, sprinkle with salt, pepper and flour, pour over two tablespoons melted butter and half a cup milk. Bake in hot oven 20 to 25 minutes or until brown. Remove to hot platter. Sprinkle with chopped parsley and serve. Fried fish. Clean, removing head and tail, unless the fish are small, wash with cold water and dry on piece of cheesecloth, sprinkle with salt, pepper and flour on both sides. Heat 1 tablespoon bacon drippings or other fat in heavy pan over hot fire. Put in fish, brown quickly on both sides, reduce heat and fry 5 to 10 minutes longer or fry in deep fat. Serve with chopped parsley and lemon or sauce tartare page 36. Planked fish. Prepare as four broiled fish. Heat plank, brush with drippings and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Arrange fish on plank skin side down, doubling thin part so that it will not burn. Cook in hot oven 20 minutes. Remove from oven. Surround fish with mashed potato roses and return to oven baking until potatoes and fish are brown. Melt 1 tablespoon butter, add 1 teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon pepper, and pour over fish. Garnish with lemon and parsley and serve on the plank. Codfish balls. 1 cup salt codfish. 2 cups potatoes, cut into small pieces. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 half tablespoon butter. 1 egg. Pick over fish and shred into small pieces. Put potatoes into deep saucepan, cover with cold water. Add fish and boil until potatoes are soft. Take off fire, drain well, beat up with wire whip or fork until light and all lumps are out and potatoes and fish are thoroughly mixed, season, add butter and beaten egg. Drop by spoonfuls into deep fat, hot enough to brown a piece of bread in 40 seconds, and fry until golden brown. Drain on brown paper and serve immediately. Fish chowder. 2 or 3 slices salt pork. 6 medium-sized potatoes. 1 small onion chopped fine. 3 pounds fresh fish. 2 teaspoons salt. 1 8 teaspoon pepper. 2 quarts milk. Cut pork in small pieces, fry crisp and turn into chowder kettle. Pare potatoes and cut into pieces. Add with part of onion. 
cut fish into convenient pieces, and lay over potatoes, sprinkle with rest of onion, add seasoning and enough water to come to top of fish, cover closely and cook until potatoes are done. Add milk and let it scald up again. If desired split pilot crackers may be added just before last boiling. If milk is not available a somewhat smaller quantity of water may be used. Boiled lobsters or crabs. Lobsters should be purchased alive and plunged into boiling water in which a good proportion of salt has been added. Continue to boil according to size about 20 minutes. Crabs should be boiled in the same manner, but only a little more than half the time is necessary. The only parts of lobster not used are the lady, gills and intestinal cord. To open a boiled lobster, wipe off shell, break off large claws. Separate tail from body, take body from shell, leaving lady or stomach on shell. Put aside green fat and coral, remove small claws, remove woolly gills from body, break ladder through middle and pick out meat from joints. Cut with sharp scissors through length of underside of tail, draw meat from shell. Draw back flesh on upper end and pull off intestinal cord. Break large claws and remove meat. Creamed oysters. To each 30 oysters use 1 and a half cups thick cream sauce page 35. Put oysters with liquor into shallow pan over quick fire and boil about 1 minute or until edges curl and add cream sauce, stirring until smooth. Or put on oysters with 1 tablespoon butter, when cooked add 1 tablespoon flour which has been mixed with little cold water, add half a cup milk, 1 half teaspoon salt and 1 8 teaspoon pepper. Worcestershire sauce may be added if desired. Boil 1 minute and serve on thin squares of toasted bread, garnish with parsley. Scalloped oysters. 25 oysters. 2 cups bread crumbs. A quarter cup milk. Two tablespoons butter. One teaspoon salt. One quarter teaspoon pepper. Grease dish and cover bottom with bread crumbs, then lay oysters in carefully, season and cover with bread crumbs. Pour over milk and cover top with butter, bake in hot oven 15 to 20 minutes. Fried oysters. Wash and drain oysters. Season with salt and pepper, dip in flour, egg and then bread or cracker crumbs. Fry in deep hot fat until golden brown. Drain well and garnish with lemon and parsley. Clam chowder. 25 clams. 6 potatoes. 1 onion. 2 or 3 slices salt pork. 2 teaspoons salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 quart milk. Chop hard parts of clams. Slice potatoes and onion thin. Put pork into kettle and cook a short time, add potatoes, onion, seasoning and juice of clams. Cook about 20 minutes or until potatoes are soft, add clams. Boil 15 minutes and just before serving add hot milk. Shell fish a la Newburg. 2 cups finely cut shrimp, scallops. Lobster or crab meat. 2 tablespoons butter. 1 tablespoon flour. 1 cup milk. 2 hard-boiled eggs. 1 teaspoon salt. Cayenne pepper to taste. 1 quarter teaspoon paprika. A quarter cup sherry. If canned fish is used cover with cold water 20 minutes and drain. Melt butter in saucepan, add flour and stir until smooth, add milk slowly, boil until thick. Rub yolks of eggs through strainer and add, stirring until smooth, add seasoning, and finely chopped egg whites. Add fish which has been cut into small pieces, put all in top of double boiler over fire for 15 minutes, add sherry and serve immediately. Meats Roasting Wipe meat with damp cloth. Trim and tie into shape if necessary. Put some pieces of fat in bottom of pan and season with salt and pepper. Have oven very hot at first and when meat is half done reduce heat. Baste every 10 to 15 minutes. If there is danger of fat in pan being scorched add a little boiling water. 
Roast 10 to 15 minutes for each pound of meat, in proportion as it is desired rare or well done. Broiling. The rules for roasting meat apply to broiling, except that instead of cooking in the oven it is quickly browned, first on one side and then on other, over hot coals or directly under a gas flame, turning every minute until done. Meat an inch and one half thick will broil in 8 to 15 minutes. Season after it is cooked. Pan broiling or frying. Put meat to be broiled or fried in very hot frying pan, with very little or no fat. Turn every few minutes until cooked. Season and serve immediately. Steaks and chops may be pan broiled without any fat in the pan. For thin gravy pour a little boiling water into pan after meat is taken out. Boiling and stewing. Fresh meat should be put into boiling water and boiled over hot fire for about 5 minutes, reduce heat and boil very gently about 20 minutes for each pound. Salt and spices may be added for seasoning. Vegetables may be boiled in water with the meat. The broth of boiled meat should always be saved to use in soups, stews and gravies. Salt meats should be put over the fire in cold water, which as soon as it boils should be replaced by fresh cold water, repeating until water is fresh enough to give meat a palatable flavor. Salted and smoked meats require about 30 minutes very slow boiling, to each pound. Vegetables and herbs may be boiled with them to flavor. When they are cooked the vessel containing them should be set where they will keep hot without boiling until required, if to be served hot, if to be served cold, they should be allowed to cool in the liquor in which they were boiled. Very salty meats, or those much dried and smoking should be soaked overnight in cold water before boiling. Pot Roasting A tough cut of meat may be first browned in fat, then cooked in small amount of water either in oven or in iron kettle on top of stove. This method requires long, slow cooking. Stew with dumplings. 2 pounds. Lean beef. 1 quart potatoes. 2 cups cut carrots. 2 cups cut onions. 1 cup tomatoes. 1 tablespoon salt. 1 quarter teaspoon pepper. 1 tablespoon flour. 2 tablespoons chopped parsley. White meat, cut into small pieces, put in kettle. Cover with boiling water and boil slowly one and a half hours. Add carrots and onions, boil 15 minutes, then add potatoes, seasoning and tomatoes, add boiling water, if needed to cover vegetables, boil 30 minutes. Lift meat and vegetables out with skimmer and strain 4 cups of the stock for soup. There should be 2 cups left in the kettle, add flour which has been mixed with a little cold water, boil 3 minutes, pour over meat and vegetables and sprinkle with chopped parsley. Dumplings 1 cup flour 2 teaspoons drive Price's baking powder 1 half teaspoon salt 1 teaspoon shortening Cold water Sift flour, baking powder and salt into bowl, rub and shortening lightly with fingers, add enough water to make dough hold together. Drop by spoonfuls into stew. Roast shoulder of lamb with brown potatoes. Three and a half or four pounds shoulder of lamb. Two cups stale bread crumbs. One tablespoon finely cut onion. One tablespoon drippings. One tablespoon chopped parsley. One teaspoon salt. One eighth teaspoon pepper. Wipe lamb with. Piece of wet cheesecloth. Fill pocket with dressing made with above ingredients mixed together. Sew up and put into hot oven for 20 minutes. When well seared, season and pour over 1 cup cold water and roast 45 minutes. Add 1 quart white potatoes, which have been washed, pared and boiled, and roast until potatoes are brown. Add more water as needed, making 2 cups of gravy when finished. Thicken gravy by adding 1 tablespoon flour mixed with little cold water, season and cook until smooth. Pot roast of beef with brown potatoes. Wipe beef with damp cloth, put into iron kettle or frying pan, and brown well on all sides. Add 2 tablespoons cut onion, 1 tablespoon salt, 1 quarter teaspoon pepper and 2 cups boiling water, 
reduce heat and boil slowly 1 and 3 quarters hours, add water as necessary, 1 cup at a time. After adding potatoes, boil 30 minutes. Place meat in center of hot platter and potatoes around edge. Mix 1 tablespoon flour with a little cold water, add to gravy and boil. Pour over meat and sprinkle with chopped parsley. Carrots cut in small pieces may be added with potatoes if desired. Liver and bacon. Have liver cut in thin slices, wash, drain, dry and roll in flour. Put bacon thinly sliced into very hot frying pan. Turn until brown and transfer to hot platter. Fry liver quickly in the hot bacon drippings, turning often. When done put on platter with bacon. Pour off all but one or two tablespoons fat, add one to two tablespoons flour, and stir until brown. Add hot water gradually to make smooth gravy, season and boil one minute. Roast lamb. White meat with damp cloth. Put one or two thin slices of onion on top, season with salt and pepper. Put into roasting pan in hot oven and roast for about one hour and a quarter. Reduce the heat after lamb has been roasting about 20 minutes. Serve on hot platter with brown gravy or mint sauce. Baked veal with tomato sauce. One thin veal cutlet. One teaspoon drippings. One teaspoon chopped onion. One teaspoon chopped parsley. Half a cup bread crumbs. One half teaspoon salt. One eighth teaspoon pepper. Trim edge of cutlet and spread on board or platter. Fry onion in drippings until tender, add parsley and bread crumbs mixed with enough water to hold them together, spread on cutlet and roll, tie in three or four places. Dust with salt, pepper and flour. Place in pan, add half a cup hot water. Put into hot oven and roast 35 to 45 minutes, adding water if needed. Remove to hot platter. Serve with tomato sauce. Veal cutlet. Cutlet may be cooked whole or cut into pieces for serving. Dust with salt, pepper and flour. Dip in egg, one egg beaten with one tablespoon milk, then in bread crumbs. Brown on both sides in shallow fat in frying pan. Add boiling water to cover, season and cook slowly for one hour. Thicken gravy with 1 tablespoon flour mixed with a little cold water. Creamed sweetbreads. Lay sweetbreads in cold water with a little salt for 1 hour. Drain, put into saucepan, cover with boiling water and boil very slowly 25 minutes. Drain and when cool separate and remove all membrane. Cut into small pieces and reheat in cream sauce page 35. Roast loin of pork. White pork with damp cloth. Put into pan in very hot oven for 20 minutes, or until well browned. Add 1 teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon pepper and 1 cup cold water. Roast slowly 3 to 4 hours. Add water as necessary. To gravy, add 1 tablespoon flour mixed with cold water, season and boil until thick. Baked ham. Wash and scrub ham in warm water. Soak overnight. Drain and put on to boil with cold water enough to cover, boil slowly 4 to 5 hours or until tender. Cool in water in which it was boiled, remove skin carefully. Cover with 1 cup brown sugar, 1 cup flour and 1 half teaspoon pepper, add 2 cups cold water, bake in very hot oven 45 to 60 minutes, baste often. When brown on both sides add 1 cup cider or half a cup vinegar and thicken gravy with 2 tablespoons flour. Poultry. How to clean. Singe fowl over free flame. Cut off head just below bill. Untie feet, break bone and loosen sinews just below joint, pull out sinews and cut off feet. Cut out oil sack. Lay breast down, slit skin down backbone toward head. Loosen windpipe and crop and pull out. Push back skin from neck and cut off neck close to body. Make slit below end of breastbone, put in fingers, loosen intestines from backbone, take firm grasp of gizzard and draw all out. Cut around vent so that intestines are unbroken. 
Remove heart and lungs. Remove kidneys. See that inside looks clean, let cold water run through, then wipe inside and out with wet cloth. Cut through thick fleshy part of gizzard and remove inside heavy skin without breaking, then cut away gristly part so that only thick, fleshy part is used. Roast Poultry After poultry is cleaned and washed inside and out with cold water, fill inside with dressing. Have at least a yard fine twine in trussing needle. Turn wings across back so that the pinions touch. Run needle through thick part of wing under bone, through body and wing on other side, return in same way, but passing needle in over bone, tie firmly, leaving several inches of twine. Press legs up against body, run needle through thigh, body and second thigh, return, going round bone in same way, tie firmly. Run needle through ends of legs, return, passing needle through rump. If opening is badly torn, one or two stitches may be needed, or if steel skewers are used put one through wings of fowl and other through opposite thigh. Then wind twine in figure 8 from one handle of skewer to other. Rub all over with soft butter and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Place on rack in roasting pan and put into very hot oven. Make basting mixture with half a cup each of butter and water, keep hot and baste every 10 or 15 minutes. Roast 3 hours for 8 pound turkey, 1 to 2 hours for chicken and ducks. Keep oven very hot. If bird is very large and heavy, cover breasts and legs with several thicknesses of paper to keep from burning. Poultry dressing. 2 cups stale bread. 1 tablespoon finely cut onion. 1 tablespoon drippings. 1 tablespoon finely cut parsley. 1 half tablespoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 quarter teaspoon paprika. Powdered sage if desired. Soak bread in cold water 5 minutes. And press out all water. Put drippings and onion into pan and cook slowly, stirring constantly until onion is tender but not brown. Add bread, parsley and seasoning, and mix well together. Oyster dressing. 20 oysters. 2 tablespoons butter. 4 cups bread crumbs. 1 tablespoon chopped parsley. 1 quarter teaspoon pepper. 1 half tablespoon salt. Drain and rinse oysters with cold water. Put butter in saucepan with oysters and bring to boiling point, add bread crumbs, parsley and seasoning, mix carefully, so that oysters will not be broken. Giblet gravy. Boil neck, gizzard and wing tips together until tender. Pour off excess of fat in pan in which poultry has been roasted, add enough stock from the gizzard and neck to make 3 cups of gravy. Chop gizzard, liver and heart and add. Add 1 teaspoon finely cut onion, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon pepper, 2 tablespoons flour mixed with a little cold water and boil 3 minutes. Fried chicken. Singe, wash and clean chicken, cut into pieces as follows. 2 second joints, 2 drumsticks, 2 wings, breast cut into 2 pieces, backbone cut into 4 pieces. Wipe with piece of cheesecloth, season with salt and pepper and dredge in flour. Put into hot frying pan with 2 tablespoons bacon drippings or butter and brown quickly. Add a little water, cover, reduce heat and cook slowly until tender. Remove chicken, mix 1 tablespoon flour with whatever gravy or fat is in pan. Add 1 cup cold milk, boil until thick. This gravy should be rich cream color. Fricassee of chicken. Prepare and cut up as for fried chicken. Pat into saucepan with just enough boiling water to cover. Add teaspoon salt, 1 8 teaspoon pepper and, if desired, 1 teaspoon onion juice. Boil slowly 2 hours or until tender, add water from time to time, as it boils away. When finished there should be 2 cups of stock. Thicken with 1 tablespoon flour mixed with little cold water and add 1 tablespoon finely chopped parsley. Serve in border of hot boiled rice. Chicken pie. Singe, draw and clean a 4 pounds, chicken. Disjoint, cut breast into 4 pieces, cut second joints and legs apart. 
Save neck, wing tips, heart, gizzard and liver for soup. Put on the rest with enough boiling water to cover. Cook slowly two hours. Add one quart washed, pared, and diced white potatoes. Cook 20 minutes or until tender. Add one half tablespoon salt, one quarter teaspoon pepper, one tablespoon chopped parsley and two tablespoons flour mixed with little cold water. Boil three minutes. Pour all into dish and cover with pastry. Bake 20 minutes in a moderate oven. Pastry. Sift together 1 cup flour, 2 teaspoons dry prices baking powder, 1 teaspoon salt, rub in very lightly for tablespoons shortening. Add just enough cold water to make stiff dough. Roll out on floured board and cover top of pie. Roast goose, bread and apple dressing. Wipe inside with damp cloth and season with salt and pepper, put in dressing and sew up. Push back skin and cut off neck. In the skin put two apples, which have been pared, quartered and cored, tie the skin. Put in pan breastbone up, dust with salt, pepper and flour. Place in hot oven, when seared, baste with two cups cold water. Turn breast side down and roast two hours, basting three or four times with cold water. Ten minutes before serving turn breast side up. Remove fat and make gravy as directed for roast poultry. Dressing 1 tablespoon drippings or butter 2 tablespoons chopped onions 1 quart finely chopped apples 4 cup stale bread crumbs 2 tablespoons chopped parsley 1 teaspoon salt 1 half teaspoon grated nutmeg 1 eighth teaspoon pepper 1 eighth teaspoon paprika 1 egg Put drippings and onion into frying pan. Cook a few minutes and add apples. Cover bread with cold water a few minutes, drain and press out all water. Put into pan, add seasoning and beaten egg, mix well until thoroughly cooked. Fish, meat and vegetable sauces. Thin cream sauce. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 tablespoon flour. 1 cup milk or cream. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon white pepper. Melt butter in saucepan, add flour and mix well. Add cold milk slowly, stirring until smooth and creamy, add seasoning and boil about 3 minutes. Thick cream sauce. 2 tablespoons butter. 2 and a half tablespoons flour. 1 cup milk or cream. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 8 teaspoon white pepper. Make as directed for thin cream sauce. EGG sauce, 4 fish. 1 cup white sauce. 2 chopped hard boiled eggs. 1 tablespoon chopped parsley. 1 teaspoon lemon juice or vinegar. Add eggs and parsley and lemon juice to white sauce after removing from fire. Currant jelly sauce. 1 half glass currant jelly. 1 cup hot brown sauce. Melt jelly over slow fire. Add brown sauce, stir well and simmer 1 minute. Brown sauce or gravy. 1 tablespoon butter or fat in which meat was cooked. 1 tablespoon flour. 1 cup beef stock or boiling water. Salt. Pepper. Brown fat in saucepan, add flour and brown. Add liquid and stir until smooth and thick. Season to taste and simmer 5 minutes. Hollandaise sauce. Half a cup butter. 2 beaten egg yolks. 1 tablespoon lemon juice. Salt. Cayenne. Half a cup boiling water. Cream butter. Add gradually stirring well egg yolks, lemon juice and seasoning. Add boiling water slowly. Stir over boiling water until thick. Serve immediately. Sauce tartare. Make 1 cup mayonnaise page 42. Chop very fine 1 tablespoon each capers, olives, pickles and parsley. Press in cloth until dry. Add to mayonnaise just before serving. Maitre d'hôtel butter. 2 tablespoons butter. 
1 half teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon white pepper, 1 tablespoon lemon juice, 1 tablespoon chopped parsley, cream butter. Add gradually seasoning, lemon juice, parsley and keep cold until served. Mint sauce. A quarter cup chopped mint leaves. Half a cup vinegar. A quarter cup water. A quarter cup sugar. Cook all ingredients in sauce pan over very slow fire for about one half hour. Do not allow to boil. Serve hot. Horseradish sauce. Two tablespoons butter. Two tablespoons grated horseradish. One tablespoon thick cream. One half teaspoon lemon juice. Cream butter, add horseradish, cream and lemon juice. Keep very cold until served. Cranberry sauce. One quart cranberries. Two cups sugar. One cup water. Wash and pick over cranberries. Put all ingredients into saucepan. Cover until it boils. Remove cover and cook about 10 minutes or until berries have all burst. Pour into mold, chill and serve. For cranberry jelly strain after cooking. Tomato sauce. 3 slices bacon cut into small pieces. 1 slice onion chopped. 2 tablespoons flour. 1 and a half cups strained tomatoes. 1 half teaspoon salt. Few gratings of nutmeg. Cayenne. 1 tablespoon chopped green peppers. Put bacon into saucepan. Add onion and brown slightly. Add flour, tomatoes which have been heated and strained, and stir until thick. Add seasoning and peppers. Eggs. Boiled eggs. Drop into boiling water and boil 3 minutes for soft boiled, 15 to 20 minutes for hard boiled or place eggs in boiling water, cover, and cook over moderate heat without boiling from 6 to 8 minutes for soft. 45 minutes for hard cooked. Poached eggs. Break eggs and drop carefully one at a time into boiling water in shallow frying pan. Cook slowly until eggs are set. Remove each with skimmer and serve on toast garnished with parsley. Poached eggs in cream. Put half cup of cream sauce into shallow baking dish. Open eggs carefully and place on sauce. Cook over boiling water from 10 to 15 minutes or until eggs are set or are as firm as desired. Cover with half cup of cream sauce, sprinkle with chopped parsley and dust with paprika and serve. Scrambled eggs. Break eggs into bowl, season with salt and pepper and pour into hot, frying pan in which butter has been melted. Cook over slow fire and as eggs thicken stir until cooked. If desired eggs may be beaten with 1 tablespoon milk to each egg and cooked in same way. Scrambled eggs with dried beef. 1 quarter pound dried beef. 3 eggs. 3 tablespoons milk or water. 1 tablespoon butter. Cover beef which has been picked into small pieces with cold water, heat but do not boil. Drain. Melt batter in frying pan. Add beef and eggs which have been beaten with the milk or water. As soon as eggs begin to set, stir until cooked. Plain omelet. Beat 4 eggs with 4 tablespoons milk, add 1 half teaspoon salt and 1 8 teaspoon pepper and mix. Melt 1 teaspoon fat in hot frying pan, pour in eggs, cook slowly until egg is set, lift edges of omelet allowing thin portions to run underneath, when brown underneath, fold over and serve on hot platter. Sprinkle with 1 teaspoon chopped parsley. Puffy omelet. For eggs. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. 1 tablespoon corn starch. Half a cup milk or half milk and half water. Separate eggs. Mix salt, pepper, baking powder, corn starch and milk with yolks of eggs. Beat whites until light and mix in well with yolks. Put into greased hot frying pan and cook slowly until well puffed up. Dry out in oven, fold over in half and serve immediately on hot platter, 
or if desired serve with tomato sauce page 36 added before omelet is folded. Fancy omelets. A great variety of omelets can be made by either mixing chopped vegetables, fruits, meats, or shellfish with plain omelet before cooking, or folding them in after cooking. Croquettes. Chicken croquettes. 2 cups chopped chicken. 2 tablespoons butter. 2 tablespoons flour. 1 cup milk. 2 teaspoons salt. 1 teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. 1 8 teaspoon paprika. 1 8 teaspoon pepper. 1 tablespoon chopped parsley. 2 eggs. Bread crumbs. Melt butter in saucepan. Add flour and add cold milk slowly, stirring until smooth and creamy, add seasoning in parsley. Boil 3 minutes. Add chicken, mix well and pour out on platter to cool. When cool enough to handle take a large spoon of the mixture in floured hands. Shape into balls, cones, or oval cakes and put into cold place until firm. Roll in bread crumbs, then dip in eggs beaten with 2 tablespoons milk, then in bread crumbs. Lay on plate which has been sprinkled with bread crumbs. Fry in deep hot fat until brown. Drain and serve. Rice croquettes. 1 cup rice. 2 eggs. 3 tablespoons milk. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 tablespoon sugar. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 teaspoon chopped parsley. Bread crumbs. Wash rice several times and boil with 2 quarts boiling water 30 minutes. Drain well and put into top of double boiler. Add 1 egg beaten with 2 tablespoons milk, add salt, sugar, butter and parsley, cook until egg thickens. Cool and shape into cones, balls or oval cakes. Roll in bread crumbs, then in egg beaten up with 1 tablespoon milk. Roll in bread crumbs and fry in deep hot fat until brown. Salmon croquettes. 1 cup bone salmon. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 tablespoon flour. Half a cup milk. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 teaspoon lemon juice. Make a cream sauce with the butter, flour, milk, salt and pepper. Put salmon into bowl and add the sauce and lemon juice, mix well with fork until salmon is well broken. Set aside and when cold mold into desired shapes, roll in bread crumbs, then dip in egg beaten with 1 tablespoon cold milk, then in bread crumbs. Fry in deep hot fat. Nut and potato croquettes. 2 cups hot riced potatoes. A quarter cup cream or milk. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 8 teaspoon pepper. Few grains cayenne. Yolk of 1 egg. 1 third cup chopped pecan nut meats. 1 half teaspoon dr. Price's baking powder. Mix all ingredients with fork until light. Shape as for croquettes. Roll in bread crumbs. Dip in egg which has been mixed with a little cold water. Roll in bread crumbs again and fry in deep hot fat until brown. Drain on unglazed paper and serve. Luncheon and other dishes. Chicken patties. 2 tablespoons butter. 2 tablespoons flour. 1 cup chicken stock. 1 half teaspoon salt. Few grains cayenne. 1 cup cold diced chicken. Melt butter in saucepan, stir in flour. Add chicken stock. Season and bring to a boil, add chicken and cook slowly 5 minutes. Fill patty shells and serve at once. Patty shells. 2 cups flour. 2 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt. 4 tablespoons shortening. Ice water. Sift flour, baking powder and salt together. Add shortening and rub in very lightly with tips of fingers, add very slowly enough cold water, to make stiff dough. Roll out thin, cut into circles and form on the outside of patty or muffin tins. Bake in hot oven, open side down, until light brown, 
remove carefully from tins and return shells to oven and bake 5 minutes, open side up. Boston Baked Beans 1 quart beans 1 half pound salt pork 1 tablespoon salt 1 quarter teaspoon pepper 1 half teaspoon dry mustard 2 tablespoons molasses Wash and soak beans overnight. Put half into bean pot, wash salt pork and place in center. Add remainder of beans, salt, pepper, mustard, molasses, and 4 cups cold water, cover. Put into slow oven and bake 8 hours. Add more water if needed. Baked macaroni with cheese. 1 cup macaroni. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 tablespoon flour. 1 cup milk. Half a cup grated cheese. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 eighth teaspoon paprika. Boil macaroni in salted water until soft. Drain and mix with sauce. Put into buttered dish, cover with grated cheese and bake 20 minutes in hot oven. Sauce. Melt butter in saucepan, add flour, mix well and add cold milk slowly, stirring until smooth, add cheese and seasoning. Boil until cheese is melted. Cheese in scallop shells or ramekins. 1 cup milk. 2 cups bread crumbs. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 quarter teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. 2 cups grated American cheese. Pour milk over bread crumbs, add seasoning. Half of grated cheese and mix well. Put into greased scallop shells or ramekins, sprinkle with remainder of cheese and a few fresh bread crumbs and bake in moderate oven 30 minutes. Kidney beans with bacon. Wash and soak 2 cups kidney beans in cold water overnight. Drain, cover with boiling water, add 1 quarter pound bacon, boil until beans are tender, and drain. Season beans with salt and pepper to taste. Brown thin slices of bacon in frying pan, and serve over beans. Tomatoes and eggs. Grease muffin tins. Put one thick slice of unpeeled tomato into each tin, season with salt and pepper, break one egg on top of each slice, again season with salt and pepper and put a small piece of butter on top of each egg. Bake in oven until egg is set and cooked through but not hard. Serve on small rounds of toast and garnish with parsley. Corn pudding. 1 quart fresh corn cut from cob. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 3 eggs slightly beaten. 2 cups milk. 3 tablespoons melted butter. Put all ingredients into greased baking dish and bake slowly in moderate oven until firm. Onions and potatoes. 1 quart potatoes. 1 quart onions. 1 teaspoon salt. Wash, pair and cut potatoes and onions in half-inch rounds. Put into saucepan with boiling water to cover, adding salt. Boil about 30 minutes, or until tender. Drain, put into dish and cover with thick cream sauce page 35. Bake in hot oven about 25 minutes. Serve in baking dish. French toast. Half a cup flour. 1. Teaspoon drive. Price's baking powder. 1 quarter teaspoon salt. Half a cup milk. 1 egg. Sliced bread. Sift together flour, baking powder and salt, add milk and beaten egg, beat well. Into this dip bread. Fry in hot fat. Drain and serve hot with powdered sugar. Cheese straws. 1 cup grated American cheese. 1 cup flour. 1 teaspoon drive. Price's baking powder. 1 16th teaspoon cayenne pepper. 1 quarter teaspoon paprika. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 egg. 2 tablespoons milk. Mix together cheese and flour sifted with baking powder and seasoning, add beaten egg. Mix well. Add milk enough to make a stiff dough. Roll out a quarter inch thick, on floured board, 
Cut into strips 5 inches long and a quarter inch wide. Bake in hot oven 15 minutes. Cheese souffle. 2 tablespoons butter. 3 tablespoons flour. Half a cup milk. 1 half teaspoon salt. Few grains cayenne. 1 cup grated American cheese. Yolks of 3 eggs. 2 teaspoons drive prices baking powder. Whites of 3 eggs. Melt butter. Add flour, and when well mixed add milk slowly. Add salt, cayenne, and cheese. Remove from fire, add beaten yolks of eggs. Cool mixture and mix in baking powder and beaten egg whites. Bake in greased dish 25 minutes in slow oven. Serve at once. Vegetables. Most vegetables are better cooked the day they are gathered. Pick over, wash and prepare them for cooking. Always cook vegetables in freshly boiled water and keep water boiling until done. Add salt last few minutes when cooking green vegetables. Time table. Potatoes, boil 25 to 40 minutes. Turnips, boil from 40 to 60 minutes. Beets, boil from 1 to 2 hours before peeling. Parsnips, boil from 30 to 50 minutes. Spinach, boil 20 to 30 minutes. Onions, boil 45 to 60 minutes. String beans, boil 1 to 1 and a half hours. Shell beans, boil 30 to 60 minutes. Green corn, steam 10 to 15 minutes, or boil 5 to 6 minutes. Green peas, boil in as little water as possible 30 to 45 minutes. Asparagus, boil 20 to 30 minutes. Winter squash. Pear remove seeds, cut in pieces, and boil 20 to 40 minutes in small quantity of boiling water. When done, press water out, mash smooth, season with butter, pepper and salt. Asparagus. Wash, scrape, cut off about 1 inch hard ends, and tie together. Put into saucepan, cover with boiling water and boil until tender, keeping tips out of water for the first 10 minutes, add salt. Remove from water, drain well, lay on pieces of toast and serve with melted butter, cream or hollandaise sauce page 36. Pickled beets. Wash and boil beets until tender. Remove skins, slice or cut into quarters, cover with one half up vinegar, one teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon pepper and one tablespoon sugar. Creamed carrots. Wash and scrape carrots, cut into thin slices. Cover with boiling water and boil until tender. Drain and serve with cream sauce or melted butter. Sprinkle with chopped parsley. Boiled cabbage. Cut cabbage into quarters, removing hard part of core, and place in cold water 30 minutes. Drain, cover with boiling water and boil, without a cover, 30 minutes, or until tender. Drain, put into dish and serve with melted butter and pepper or cream sauce. Cold slaw. Wash cabbage, cut into quarters and slice very thin. Allow to stand in cold water 30 minutes, drain well, and cover with boiled or French dressing. Spinach. Pick over carefully and wash thoroughly in several waters until all sand is removed. Put into kettle and add very little boiling water, about half a cup. Young spinach does not need any water. Boil until tender or about 25 minutes. Drain thoroughly, chop fine and drain again. Season with salt and pepper and garnish with slices of hard-boiled eggs. Cauliflower. Place a head of cauliflower, from which the leaves have been removed, in uncovered saucepan, stem end down, cover with boiling water. Boil 35 minutes or until tender and serve with cream sauce. French fried potatoes. Pare and cut raw white or sweet potatoes into long even pieces. Put into cold water for about an hour. Drain and dry well. Fry until brown, 8 to 10 minutes, in deep fat hot enough to brown piece of bread in 60 seconds, drain on paper and salt just before serving. Potatoes au gratin. Mix 1 third cup grated American cheese with creamed potatoes. 
Put into baking dish, cover with buttered bread crumbs and grated cheese, and bake in oven until brown. Stuffed potatoes. Bake four large potatoes. Cut in half lengthwise and, without breaking skins, scoop out insides and mash. Add one half teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper, one teaspoon chopped parsley, one teaspoon melted butter and mix with fork. Return to shells, put a few drops of milk on top, rough with fork, sprinkle with paprika and place in oven until brown. Brussels sprouts. Wash, and allow to stand in cold water for an hour. Drain, cover with boiling water and boil 20 to 25 minutes without a cover. Drain and serve with salt, pepper and melted butter or cream sauce. Green corn. Husk corn, removing all silk. Put into fresh boiling water to cover and boil rapidly for 5 minutes. Remove from water and serve on platter covered with napkin. Lima beans. Shell beans just before using. Rinse in cold water. Put into saucepan, cover with boiling water and boil until tender. Drain and add salt, pepper and melted butter. Kohlrabi. Peel turnip-shaped globe, cut into small pieces, cover with boiling water and boil until tender, 30 to 35 minutes. Add 1 teaspoon salt to each quart water. Serve plain with melted butter and pepper, or with cream sauce. The leaves may be stemmed and cooked as greens, boiling 40 minutes. Candied sweet potatoes. Boil 1 quart sweet potatoes in salted water until tender, drain and scrape off skins, cut into slices and put in layers into greased basing dish covering each layer and top with brown sugar and pieces of butter. Bake in hot oven until brown. Baked tomatoes. 6 tomatoes. 2 cups soft bread crumbs. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 1 tablespoon butter. Wash tomatoes and cut off stem ends. Remove pulp from center and fill with bread crumbs seasoned with salt and pepper, place small piece of butter on each. Bake in hot oven 30 minutes. The pulp may be seasoned to taste, cooked in a pan and served as a sauce. Browned parsnips. 1 quart parsnips. 1 teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons butter or bacon drippings. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. Wash, scrape and cut parsnips into slices. Cover with boiling water and boil until tender, drain. Brown on greased griddle or frying pan. Season with salt and pepper. Oyster plant. Wash and cover with boiling water. Cook 40 to 60 minutes or until soft. Scrape, cut in pieces and serve with cream sauce. Salads and salad dressings. Salads may be made in infinite variety from plain lettuce, chicory, endive, romaine or watercress served with French dressing, to many combinations of lettuce with cold vegetables, fish, meats or fruits. All salad greens should be fresh, crisp, dry and cold before serving. Wash leaves carefully and put on ice either in lettuce dryer or in a cloth. Salads should be dressed at the table or just before serving. Chicken salad. 4 cups cold boiled chicken, cut into small pieces. 2 cups finely cut celery. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 eighth teaspoon pepper. 2 hard boiled eggs. 2 cups mayonnaise dressing. 6 olives. 1 third cup French dressing. Mix chicken with celery. Seasoning and 1 egg cut into small pieces. Marinate with French dressing and let stand in cold place about one hour. Serve on lettuce leaves and spread mayonnaise over top. Garnish with olives and remaining egg cut into slices. Sprinkle with chopped parsley and paprika. Fruit salad. One half pound Malaga grapes. Two pears. One grapefruit. One orange. One head lettuce. Wash, peel, remove seeds from all fruit. Cut grapes into halves, pears in lengthwise pieces, grapefruit and orange into sections. Chill until ready to serve. Serve on lettuce leaves with French dressing.
Alligator pears, melon or other fruit may be substituted for above variety. Marquise salad. Three firm tomatoes. Half a cup chopped onion. Half a cup chopped parsley. Two tablespoons salad oil. Peel tomatoes and cut in half. Mix onion and parsley, add oil, let stand two hours before using. When ready to serve line salad bowl with lettuce, place tomatoes in it and on each half put one tablespoon onion and parsley mixture. Pour on French dressing. Everything should be ice cold. Vegetable salad. 1 cup finely cut red cabbage. 1 cup cold boiled beets. 1 cup cold boiled carrots. 1 cup cold boiled potatoes. 1 cup chopped celery. Half a cup pimentos. 1 head lettuce. 1 cup French dressing. Soak cabbage in cold water 1 hour. Drain and add beets, carrots and potatoes cut into small pieces, add celery. Mix well together, season with salt and pepper and serve on lettuce leaves. On top put strips of pimento and serve with French dressing, to which may be added 1 teaspoon onion juice. Potato salad. 1 quart cold boiled potatoes. 1 onion, finely sliced. 1 half teaspoon salt. Chopped parsley. Half a cup French dressing. Cut potatoes into slices or cubes, add onion, mix with salt, parsley and French dressing. Serve on lettuce leaves with boiled dressing. Lobster salad. Cut cold boiled lobster into small pieces. Marinate with French dressing, arrange on lettuce leaves, cover with mayonnaise and garnish with lobster claws, olives and hard boiled eggs. For boiled lobster see page 31. Fish salad. 2 cups shredded lettuce. 1 can tuna fish or 1 and a half pounds. Any cold boiled fish. Half a cup French dressing. 1 teaspoon onion juice. 1 cup finely cut celery. Half a cup mayonnaise. 1 teaspoon chopped parsley. Line dish with lettuce, place fish in center. Pour over French dressing to which onion juice has been added and cover top of fish with celery, put mayonnaise on top. Sprinkle with chopped parsley. French dressing. Mix 1 tablespoon lemon juice or vinegar, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon pepper or few grains cayenne pepper in bowl, add 3 to 4 tablespoons olive oil, beating constantly. Place on ice until ready to serve. Mayonnaise eye. 1 egg yolk. 1 half teaspoon dry mustard. 1 half teaspoon salt. 1 sixteenth teaspoon cayenne pepper. 1 cup salad oil. 2 tablespoons vinegar or lemon juice. Utensils and ingredients should be very cold. Put egg yolk into shallow bowl. Add seasoning and mix well. Add oil slowly, almost drop by drop beating continually until very thick. Thin with vinegar, continue adding oil and vinegar until all is used. Mayonnaise 2. 1 egg. Juice of 1 lemon or 4 tablespoons vinegar. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 quarter teaspoon paprika. Few grains cayenne. 2 cups salad oil. Put egg with vinegar or lemon juice and seasoning into bowl and beat with rotary egg beater. Add oil a tablespoonful or more at a time, beating constantly. Well covered, this mayonnaise will keep for three or four weeks. Boiled salad dressing. One half tablespoon salt. One and a half tablespoon sugar. One teaspoon mustard. One half tablespoon flour. Few grains cayenne. Half a cup vinegar. Two eggs. Three quarters cup milk. 1 tablespoon butter or other shortening. Mix dry ingredients in top of double boiler. Add vinegar and beaten egg yolks and mix, add milk and butter. Cook in double boiler until thick and smooth. Take from fire and add beaten egg whites. Cool and serve. Russian dressing. 
To 1 cup mayonnaise add just before serving 2 teaspoons chili sauce, 6 pimentos chopped fine, and if desired a dash of grated cheese. Beverages Boiled coffee 4 4 cups Beat half an egg white with 3 tablespoons cold water and mix with 3 quarters cup ground coffee, put into scalded coffee pot, add 1 quart boiling water and boil 5 minutes. Add a quarter cup cold water and allow to stand 3 minutes to settle before serving. French or drip coffee 6 tablespoons finely ground coffee 4 cups boiling water Put coffee in fine strainer of coffee pot. Keep over hot water or on back of range but do not boil. Pour boiling water slowly over coffee, about one quarter of a cup at a time, keeping pot covered between each addition of water. Tea Water for tea should be freshly heated and just boiling. Teas are of different strength, but a safe rule is one teaspoon dry tea to one cup water. Scald teapot, put in dry tea and cover with little boiling water for one minute. Add boiling water and cover closely. Allow it to stand three to six minutes and strain off into a second hot pot before serving. Chocolate. Cut into small pieces one ounce unsweetened chocolate, add one tablespoon sugar and two tablespoons hot water. Boil all together till smooth, add gradually two cups scalded milk, cook in double boiler five minutes. If desired add 1 quarter teaspoon vanilla. Serve with whipped cream. Cocoa. The usual rule is 2 teaspoons cocoa, 1 teaspoon sugar, 1 tablespoon cold water and 3 quarters milk to each cup. Mix dry cocoa with sugar and cold water, cook over slow fire until thick, add milk, and boil 1 minute. Cocoa syrup. 2 cups water. 2 cups sugar. 1 cup cocoa. 1 half teaspoon salt. Stir water and sugar in saucepan until dissolved, boil 5 minutes, mix cocoa with cold water to make a paste and add to boiling water and sugar. Boil slowly for 10 minutes, add salt. When cold put into bottle or glass jar in refrigerator. Take 2 tablespoons of syrup for each glass or cup of milk. Served with whipped cream either hot or cold this is a nourishing and delicious beverage. Candies Cream candy 2 cups sugar 2 tablespoons vinegar 1 teaspoon cream of tartar 1 teaspoon lemon extract Add a little water to moisten sugar. Boil with vinegar and cream of tartar without stirring, until brittle when tried in cold water. Add lemon Turn out quickly on buttered plates. When cool enough to handle, pull until white and cut into pieces. Butterscotch. 2 cups sugar. 2 tablespoons water. 2 tablespoons butter. Boil without stirring until brittle when tested in cold water. Pour out on buttered plates to cool. Butter taffy. 3 cups brown sugar. Half a cup molasses. A quarter cup water. A quarter cup vinegar. Four tablespoons butter. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Boil sugar, molasses, water and vinegar. When crisp in cold water add butter and vanilla. Cook three minutes. Cool on buttered pans and break into pieces. Peanut brittle. Two cups chopped roasted nuts. Three cups granulated sugar. Put sugar in frying pan. Stir over slow fire. It will lump, then gradually melt. When pale yellow, and clear, add nuts and pour quickly on greased tin. When cold break into pieces. Chocolate caramels. 2 cups molasses. 1 cup brown sugar. 1 cup cream or milk. 1 quarter pound unsweetened chocolate. 4 tablespoons butter. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Put all ingredients but vanilla into kettle. Boil until it hardens when tested in cold water, add vanilla and turn into large flat greased tins. When nearly cold, cut into small squares. Creamed nuts. 2 cups confectioner's sugar. White of 1 egg. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 
2 teaspoons cold water. Walnuts or other nuts. Mix sugar, unbeaten egg white, vanilla and cold water into a stiff paste. Shape into little balls, press between halved walnut or other nut meats. Stone dates and large seeded raisins may be filled with this cream, or it may be mixed with chopped nuts, shaped into bars and cut into squares. Candied popcorn. One and a half cups sugar or maple syrup. One tablespoon butter. Three tablespoons water. Three quarts popped corn. Boil sugar or syrup with butter and water until it spins a long thread, pour this on popcorn and if desired shape into balls. Candied nuts may be prepared in the same way. Pulled molasses candy. 1 cup molasses. 2 cups brown sugar. 1 cup water. 3 tablespoons vinegar. 1 half teaspoon cream of tartar. 3 tablespoons butter. 1 half teaspoon bicarbonate of soda. Put molasses, sugar, water and vinegar into saucepan and stir. When boiling add cream of tartar and boil until very brittle when tested in cold water, add butter and soda and pour on buttered platter. When cool enough to handle, butter hands and pull until light brown. Cut with scissors into small pieces. Fudge 3 cups sugar 1 cup milk or cream 1 tablespoon butter 2 ounces unsweetened chocolate or 6 tablespoons cocoa 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Put sugar, milk and cocoa or chocolate into saucepan. Stir and boil until it makes soft ball when tested in cold water, take from fire, add butter and vanilla, cool and stir until creamy. Pour on buttered plates and cut into squares. Panucci. 2 cups light brown sugar. 1 third cup milk or cream. 1 tablespoon butter. 3 quarters cup chopped nuts. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Put sugar, milk, and butter into saucepan. Boil with as little stirring as possible until it makes a soft ball when tested in cold water. Take from fire, add nuts and vanilla, stir until creamy and pour into greased tins. Cocoa cream candy. 4 tablespoons confectioner's sugar. 2 tablespoons boiling water. 4 tablespoons cocoa. 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract. Mix sugar and boiling water until smooth, add cocoa and vanilla, mix until creamy. Dust hands with sugar. Take up 1 half teaspoon of mixture and roll. Dust a plate with sugar, and roll balls in finely chopped nuts and allow to dry for about 2 hours. Coconut cream candy. 1 tablespoon butter. 3 quarters cup milk. 2 cups sugar. Half a cup grated fresh coconut. 1 half teaspoon vanilla extract. Melt butter in saucepan, add milk and sugar, stir until sugar is dissolved, heating slowly, boil 12 to 15 minutes. Remove from fire and add coconut and vanilla, beating until creamy. Pour into buttered tins and cool. For chocolate coconut cream candy add one and a half ounces unsweetened chocolate or four tablespoons cocoa before boiling. Hickory nut candy. Two cups sugar. Half a cup water. One teaspoon lemon or vanilla extract. One cup hickory nut meats. Boil sugar and water without stirring until thick enough to spin a thread, place saucepan in cold water. Add flavoring and stir quickly until white. Stir in nuts, turn into flat buttered tin, when cold cut into squares. Salted almonds. Blanch almonds by putting into boiling water for a few minutes. Remove skins, dry well and brown in heated oil or butter on top of stove or in oven. Take from fire when very light brown, as they continue to color after removing from fire. Drain well on brown paper and sprinkle with salt. Stuffed prunes or dates. Wash, dry and stone fruit, fill with a half marshmallow or blanched almond or chopped nuts and raisins and roll in sugar. Fireless cookery. The fireless cooker has become an important factor in the home. The principle employed is the preservation of heat by the use of non-conducting materials. 
The device ordinarily used is a rectangular box lined on all sides with some substance which will prevent escape of heat, with spaces or wells for stone or metal discs or radiators, and vessels containing food to be cooked. The advantages of this method are, the improvement in flavor occasioned by the slower cooking with little opportunity for evaporation, the improved appearance of food that is subject to shrinkage when cooked by ordinary methods. The saving in labor and time, as the cooking practically takes care of itself. Dinner may be prepared in the morning, placed in the cooker, and without further attention be ready to serve after three or four hours. While the time required for cooking is somewhat longer than in the usual methods, the actual time consumed in preparation of a meal is considerably reduced. General Directions Prepare food for cooking as usual. Place in special vessel, designed to fit into wells of fireless cooker, and heat on range or over gas flame until ordinary cooking temperature is reached. Put into cooker with one or more radiators which have been heated for 10 or 15 minutes over hot fire. For roasting, radiator should be hot enough to brown a pinch of flour immediately. Close cover, fasten lightly so that the steam may escape and allow cooking to proceed for time specified in recipes. For baking cake, apples, etc., proceed as for roasting. The time required for baking is slightly longer than that specified for regular ovens. For cake ordinarily baked in a moderate oven, heat radiators hot enough to brown a pinch of flour in half a minute. Cereals Prepare cereal for cooking in double boiler as usual. Boil over fire for 5 minutes, place in larger vessel of boiling water in cooker, and allow it to remain 4 or 5 hours or longer. If placed in cooker at night it should remain warm enough to serve for breakfast. Steaming For recipes see, Boston brown bread, poor man's pudding, Christmas plum pudding, etc. Prepare and mix ingredients as directed. Put into greased molds and place in shallow pan of boiling water over very hot radiator in cooker. Fasten cover tight and cook for 5 to 6 hours. Soups For ingredients and preparation of soup see pages 29 and 30. Place ingredients in a vessel, cover with cold water, bring to boil over free flame and boil 5 minutes. Fasten cover and transfer to cooker, using one hot radiator in bottom of well. Cook 4 or 5 hours, season and serve. Boiled or stewed meats Prepare meat for cooking as usual, searing in frying pan if desired brown. Place in large vessel and cover or partly cover with boiling water, boiling with cover fastened tight for 10 or 15 minutes over free flame. Transfer to cooker, using one hot radiator underneath. Cook 2 or 3 hours, season and serve. Roast meats. Prepare and season meat in usual way. Place in large dry vessel. Put very hot radiator in bottom of cooker well. Place vessel containing roast on radiator, and place another very hot radiator on top. Close cooker and fasten. Allow it to remain about one half hour per pound of meat. The roast may be browned in a very hot oven before putting into cooker or just before serving. Vegetables. Prepare vegetables as usual. Place in vessel with small quantity of boiling water. As there is little evaporation in tireless cookers, allowance does not have to be made for loss by evaporation. Boil over free flame for 5 to 10 minutes. Transfer to cooker, using one radiator in bottom of well. Cook 3 or 4 hours, remove from cooker, season and serve. Suggestions for invalids Barley water 2 tablespoons pearl barley 2 quarts cold water Wash barley, soak several hours in cold water and boil gently in same water for 2 hours. Or put into double boiler and cook for hours or until reduced one half. Lemon juice and sugar or salt to taste may be added if desired. Albuminized orange. 1 egg white. Juice of 1 orange. Sugar. Add orange juice sweetened to taste to egg white and beat well. Chill and serve cold. Pineapple juice. Peel a ripe pineapple, cut into small pieces and extract juice with fruit press or potato ricer. 
Strain and serve with cracked ice. Beef tea. 1 pound lean beef. 1 cup cold water. Cut beef into small pieces or put through meat chopper. Put into fruit jar, add cold water and allow to stand 15 to 20 minutes to draw out juice. Place on trivet or rack in pan of cold water and heat very slowly for about 2 hours. The water must not boil. Season, strain, cool and remove fat. Serve hot or cold. Scraped beef. Scrape meat with knife from lean beef cut from round until nothing but connective tissue is left. Form into small balls and broil on both sides for about 2 minutes. Season and serve. For sandwiches spread uncooked scraped beef on thin slices of bread and season. Spanish cream. 2 cups scalded milk. 4 eggs. A quarter cup sugar. 2 tablespoons granulated gelatin. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. 1 pint cream. Pour scalded milk over egg yolks and sugar which have been mixed together. Put into double boiler and cook slowly until thick and smooth. Pour over gelatin which has been soaking in a quarter cup cold water. Chill, add vanilla and beat with egg whip until thick. Fold in beaten egg whites. Chill in molds and serve with sweetened whipped cream. Gluten muffins. 2 cups gluten flour. 3 teaspoons drive. Price's baking powder. 1 egg. 1 tablespoon melted butter. 2 cups milk. Sift together flour and baking powder, add beaten egg and butter to milk and mix well. Bake in greased muffin tins in moderate oven about 35 minutes. In addition to the above, many recipes such as soups, broths, jellies, ices, and plain drop cakes suitable for invalids and convalescents are to be found in the preceding pages. Preserving and Canning Material adapted from U.S. Food Administration and New York State Department of Agriculture. General Directions Test all jars for leakage before using. To do this, fill with water, put on rubber and cover, seal and invert. Sterilize all utensils, jars, covers, etc., by covering with cold water, and boil for 10 minutes. Use only new rubbers and dip in boiling water just before using. Use wide-mouthed funnel when filling jars to avoid loss of material and keep jar rim clean. Invert all jars after filling and sealing. Fruit should be sound, firm and not overripe and carefully prepared. Clean fruit, clean hands, clean utensils, and a clean kitchen free from flies, are essential for safety and success. Keep products in a cool place. Avoid freezing in winter. Canning. Canning is the process of preparing sterilized food so that it will keep indefinitely. The custom of canning fruit in syrup is based on the improvement in flavor and texture which sugar gives to fruit. Sugar is not necessary for its preservation. Success depends upon thorough sterilization, that is, killing the organisms which cause food to spoil, and then sealing perfectly to prevent their entrance. Fruit may be canned in water, in fruit juice and in syrup. Preserving The only difference between preserving and canning fruit is that sugar is always used in preserving, while in canning it is used in smaller quantity or not at all. In preserving the old rule of equal weights of sugar and fruit may be followed. Open Kettle Method This method is generally used for preserves, jams, and marmalades. Food is completely cooked and then poured boiling hot into sterilized jars. Prepare fruit, which may or may not be peeled, and cut into pieces depending on the variety. Blanch or scald peaches and similar fruits to loosen skin and chill by plunging into cold water. Cook slowly in as little water as possible or in fruit juice or fruit syrup until done. Fill sterilized jars, seal and invert. Can cooked method. By this method uncooked or partly cooked food is packed in can or jar, covered with liquid and both jar and contents sterilized. Pair fruit if desired or blanch or scald in boiling water a small quantity of fruit at a time. See timetable. 
Do not blanch cherries, sour cherries accepted, berries or plums. Chill outside a blanched fruit by immersing a few minutes in a large vessel of cold water. Remove skin from such fruits as peaches. Pack fruit firmly in clean, tested jars to within one half inch of top. Fill jars to within a quarter inch of top with boiling water, fruit juice or syrup. Place new rubber on each jar, adjust cover and partly seal. Place jars on false bottom of water bath and sterilize for required time. See timetable. If the hot water bath is used, jars should be immersed in sufficient boiling water to cover tops to depth of about 1 inch. Do not begin to time the sterilizing until water boils. Keep water boiling during sterilizing period. Remove jars from sterilizer. Seal them and invert to cool. Avoid draft on jars, but cool as rapidly as possible. Wash jars and label. Wrap in paper or store in a dark place to prevent loss of color of red fruit. Vegetables may also be canned by this method. A timetable for canning fruits by the Can cooked method. Time of cooking. Time of Blanching. If the Hot water Bath is used. If the preserve Cooker is used. 5 pounds Fruit. Minutes. 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 Apricots. Peaches. 1 to 2. 16. 10. Blackberries. 16. 6. Cherries, strawberries, grapes, plums. 16. 10. Fruit juices. 20. 10. Huckleberries. Raspberries. 16. 8. Pears. 1 to 2. 20. 10. Pineapples. 60. 40. Quinces. 1 to 2. 60. 40. Use of sugar in canning fruit. Sugar is used in canning fruit for the purpose of improving flavor and is not necessary for preservation. Thin syrup, 1 part sugar to 2 parts water for sweet fruits. Medium syrup, 1 part sugar to 1 part water for berries and medium sweet fruits. Thick syrup, 2 parts sugar to 1 part water for sour fruits. To make syrup add sugar to boiling water. Stir until all sugar is dissolved. Boil 2 or 3 minutes. Canned peaches. Have ready a syrup by boiling sugar and water together until sugar has dissolved, using 1 half to 3 quarters cup sugar to each cup water. Allow 1 cup syrup to each quart jar of peaches and add 1 peach pit to each quart syrup. Scald sound, firm freestone peaches, a small number at a time, in boiling water just long enough to loosen skins. Dip quickly into cold water and slip off skins. Cut peaches in halves and remove stones. Can cooked method. Dot, pack peaches in overlapping layers with rounded side uppermost facing glass. Fill each jar with hot syrup and adjust rubber, cover, and upper clamp, thus partly sealing jar. Place jars on rack in hot water that covers the tops to a depth of 1 inch. Bring water to boiling point and boil pint jars 16 minutes, quart jars 20 minutes. Remove jars, seal, and invert to cool. Open kettle method. Dot, cook peaches in syrup until tender, then with sterilized spoon slip them carefully into sterilized jar. Fill jar to overflowing with syrup. Adjust rubber, cover, seal immediately, and invert to cool. Canned cherries. Wash and pit cherries. Can sweet cherries as berries. Blanch sour cherries one half minute, in boiling water. Dip in cold water. Drain and pack closely into hot sterilized jars. Cover with boiling water or boiling medium syrup. Loosely seal. Sterilize 16 minutes in boiling water bath. Remove jars at once, tighten covers, invert to test the seal and cool. Canned pears. 
Wash and peel fruit and follow directions for canned peaches. Canned berries. Blackberries, blueberries, huckleberries, raspberries, loganberries, gooseberries and strawberries should be canned as soon as possible after picking. Hull or stem. Place in strainer and wash by lifting up and down in pan of cold water. Pack into hot sterilized glass jars, using care not to crush fruit. To ensure a close pack put a 2 or 3 inch layer of berries on the bottom of the jar and press down gently with a spoon. Continue in this manner with other layers until jar is filled. Boiling water or boiling thin or medium syrup should be poured over the fruit at once. Loosely seal. Sterilize 16 minutes in boiling water. Remove jars, tighten covers, invert to test seal and cool. Asparagus. Asparagus must be fresh and tender. Select tips of uniform size and maturity, wash, cut into lengths according to containers to be used. Scrape off scales and tough outer skins and tie in bundles to fit jar. Immerse lower ends in boiling water for 5 minutes, then entire stalks, for 3 minutes longer. Cold dip, drain, pack neatly, tips up, in hot sterilized jars. Add salt and cover with boiling water. Loosely seal, sterilize 2 hours in boiling water bath. Remove as soon as time is up. Tighten covers, invert to test seal and cool. Beans. String beans and wax beans. Dot, wash, string, leave whole or break in uniform pieces. Blanch 5 to 10 minutes or until the pod will bend without breaking. Cold dip. Drain well and pack into hot jars. Add salt and cover with boiling water. Loosely seal and sterilize 2 hours in boiling water. Tighten covers, invert to test seal and cool. Corn. Select tender juicy sweet corn, at the best stage for table use and can as soon as possible after gathering. Remove husks and silk, blanch tender ears 5 minutes, older ears 10 minutes. Cold dip and cut from cob. Pack into hot sterilized jars. As corn swells during sterilization, leave space of 1 inch at top. Add salt and cover with boiling water. Be sure water penetrates through the corn to the bottom of jar. Loosely seal and sterilize 3 hours in boiling water. Remove, tighten covers, invert to test seal and cool. Jams. Jams are usually made with small fruits or chopped large fruits. Cook slowly with equal weight of sugar until thick, put into sterilized tumblers or small jars and seal. Raspberry jam. Pick over berries. Mash a few in bottom of preserving kettle, continue until fruit is used. Heat slowly to boiling point and add equal quantity of heated sugar. Cook slowly 45 minutes. Put into sterilized jars or tumblers. Other berry jams can be made in same way. Plum conserve. 4 pounds plums. 1 cup seeded raisins. 2 oranges. Sugar. Juice 1 lemon. 1 half pound walnuts. Wash plums, remove stones, add raisins and oranges which have been sliced very fine. Measure and add 3 quarters cup sugar to each cup fruit and juice. Put into kettle, cook slowly about 45 minutes or until thick, stirring to keep from burning. Add lemon juice and chopped nuts. Pour into sterilized jars. Jellies. Heat and mash fruit until juice runs readily. If fruit is not entirely broken rub through coarse sieve. Pour into sterilized jelly bags of unbleached muslin or double cheesecloth and drain but do not squeeze. Take 7 eighths cup sugar for each cup of juice. Boil juice 8 to 20 minutes, berries and currants require less time, add sugar which has been heated in oven, stir until sugar is dissolved and boil about 5 minutes. Pour into hot sterilized tumblers. Hard fruits like apples and quinces should be cut up, covered with cold water and cooked until tender before turning into jelly bags. Pickles. Pickled peaches. 2 pounds brown sugar. 2 cups vinegar. 1 ounce stick cinnamon. 
half an ounce whole cloves. For quartz peaches. Boil sugar, vinegar and spices for 20 minutes. Dip peaches quickly in hot water then rub off the fuzz with a cloth. Cook a few peaches at a time in the syrup, cook until tender. Pack in sterilized jars. Adjust sterilized rubbers, and fill each jar to overflowing with hot strained syrup. Seal jars immediately. Chow chow. 1 quart small white onions. 1 quart small cucumbers. 2 heads cauliflower. 3 green peppers. 1 quart vinegar. 6 tablespoons mustard. 3 tablespoons flour. 1 cup sugar. 1 tablespoon turmeric. Peel onions, add cucumbers. Cauliflower separated into flourlets and sliced peppers. Soak overnight in brine, 1 cup salt to 1 quart water. Drain and cook in fresh brine until vegetables are tender, drain again. Boil vinegar, add paste made with mustard, flour, sugar, turmeric and a little cold vinegar, stirring until mixture thickens, add vegetables and cook slowly 10 minutes. Seal in sterilized jars. Sweet tomato pickles. 1 half peck green tomatoes. 4 onions. 4 green peppers. 1 cup salt. Half a cup white mustard seed. 2 teaspoons pepper. 3 teaspoons cinnamon. 3 teaspoons allspice. 3 teaspoons cloves. 2 quarts vinegar. 1 pound brown sugar. Chopped tomatoes. Onions and peppers. Cover with salt and allow to stand overnight. Drain and add to vinegar, spices and sugar which have been heated to boiling. Cook 15 minutes and seal in sterilized jars. Chili sauce. 12 medium-sized ripe tomatoes. 1 red pepper. 1 onion. 2 cups vinegar. 1 third cup sugar. 2 tablespoons salt. 2 teaspoons cloves. 2 teaspoons cinnamon. 2 teaspoons allspice. 2 teaspoons nutmeg. Peel and slice tomatoes. Add chopped pepper and onion, put into kettle with remaining ingredients. Heat slowly to boiling and cook slowly two and a half hours. Seal in sterilized jars. Dr. Price's Phosphate Baking Powder Is made in the same factory in which Dr. Price's baking powder containing cream of tartar has been made for nearly 70 years and embodies all the skill, scientific knowledge and great care used therein. It perfectly leavens the food and never leaves a bitter taste even if you should happen to use more than the recipe calls for. With it you can make a delicious angel cake with three eggs instead of eight, and can economize in other expensive ingredients. Safety, surety, satisfaction, form a triple guarantee that comes with every can of Dr. Price's phosphate baking powder. Use it often, use it always and enjoy the results. The low price at which Dr. Price's phosphate baking powder is now sold brings an economy to the home which, when combined with quality, is too important to be overlooked. What shall I have for? The perplexing home question with every woman is, what shall I have for breakfast, luncheon, dinner, or supper? The mission of the new DR. Price Cookbook is to always give the right answer to this question, but the book will not help if it is hidden away in a table drawer and seldom used. Keep it where it can be seen so you will remember to ask it questions before every meal. The result will be a surprise in delightful variety, and also in the reduced cost of supplying the table. When planning a meal, just run your finger down the index and get an answer to the question, what shall I have?